Hello, welcome to Quackalope. Thank you for being here. Today, we're taking a look at a gameplay of Simon's new title, Masters of the Universe, the board game, Clash Fraternia. Now, this gameplay is going to be on TTS, and I know there's a few live plays already out there, including some here on the Quackalope channel, but there's a very good reason to watch this gameplay. First of all, it is with the designer himself. So watch him decode and talk about the design elements as we play the game. The second off is going to be a combination of content creators coming from all over the ether in order to play together. We're going to have Jazz from the Lobby of Hobbies, Chase from On the Table Gaming, a few of the Quackalope crew, and Alex from Board Game Co., all of which live in disparate parts of the world. So this will allow us to all come together and have a head-to-head -head match. And the third and final reason is going to be because Alex from Board Game Co., well, he's the villain in this story, so you're not gonna wanna miss it. That being said, I do have some B-roll and footage being shown of Simon's new game, and that's because we actually had a combination of TTS play and physical prototype play in our hands. So make sure you subscribe to this channel because there's gonna be a lot more content coming down the road and already a few videos here on our page. With all that said, we're gonna swing over to the gameplay and let you take a look for yourselves. And before we swing into it, I want to make sure that I thank Simon for sponsoring this video and Mattel for collaborating to make all of this possible. Okay, are we are we ready to start? We're recording. I'm gonna say I'm hello, to go. hello, and then we're gonna we're gonna do stuff. So, all right. This is always the worst part of these videos, and it's the only thing I'm responsible for. So, uh, and everyone's heard me say that like seven times. We can just take control if you want. Uh, Jan, you want to introduce Hello, us? hello! Welcome to Simon. <laughs> Never mind. I guess Alex and Shira are going to take control. Uh, we are, welcome to Quackalope. If you saw an intro video, I already gave you a brief little overview. Talk to you about how we're going to be doing some physical stuff in person. Let's introduce the players and go ahead and swing into this game. Now, if you're wondering what I'm doing here, I'm not actually playing. I'm going to be your videographer, making sure that the stuff you're seeing on TTS uh, is enjoyable enough to watch, like we've done with a lot of the Simon stuff. We'll also be doing some in-person gameplay as well. Michael, Chase, Jazz, you're uh, three gentlemen that we wanted to make sure we were able to get into this game. One of the reasons why we're playing digitally. Uh, Jazz from the Lobby of Hobbies, nice to have you here. This is the, I think, the second Simon video you've done with me. Uh, I think so. Third, second or third, you got it. Third, fourth, eighteenth. Either way, uh, plus one, minus one. Join us. You, uh, you you grew up watching the show, right? I did. I had um, uh, my single mother worked her butt off two jobs to get me every toy that I, uh, you know, pretty much begged her for. And now you're doing the same to buy yourself still all the toys that you're, you know, <laughs> that you pretty want. Much, pretty much, pretty much. But thanks, thanks for having me. Chase, On the Table Gaming, first time we've been able to collaborate together. I specifically was told you're going to be part of this because you would be, I heard, vindictive if you weren't. Is that accurate? Is that? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I just, whenever I hear <laughs> that uh, evil is out there, I think good will rise to meet it. And, you know, I'm excited to be here with the Heroic Warriors. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting some uh, a good outcome here today. How can uh, how can people find your channel? And, uh, and yeah. what, what kind of stuff do you do over there? So uh, On the Table Gaming, we cover uh, board games, card games, and war games, but we specifically, kind of the main thing we're rooted to is A Song of Ice and Fire, the miniatures game, which is a great war game uh, from Simon Games. So if you're interested in uh, expanding from board games to war games, be sure to check that out. And uh, He-Man's been a big part of my life, especially as a kid, it was my first store-bought costume was this like plastic bag with it like painted on. It's terrifying. If you Google it, it it's the stuff of nightmares, but I thought I looked just like He-Man. So I'm expecting I'm... <laughs> I'm expecting a direct message after this gameplay with a with a picture that we can insert right now of you in that store bought costume. Is <laughs> well, that well? I thought it was I thought it was the show up in costume, so I'm glad I didn't. I, I was just uh, you know that could have been awkward. <laughs> <laughs> a little different, yeah. He didn't quite fit the same in the uh, in the in the you know middle school costume. Michael, nice to have you here again. Super excited to be playing something with you. Although I should rephrase that a little uh, a little foreboding to be playing something with you again. Uh, you sat down and ran us through an entire series of Bloodborne stuff, and now you're back to introduce us to Masters of the Universe. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing uh, and uh, and what the, what it's been like to work on this project. 
Oh yeah, so um, yeah, it's been a while since our uh, Bloodborne series, but this yep. is uh, the next uh, well major project that I've been working on uh, in that time. But this is a collaboration game between myself and one of our other designers in our company, Leo Almeida. He unfortunately could not join us today, uh, but he is the other co-designer on this, so he's been working alongside with me. And this is our Masters of the Universe Clash for Eternia board game. Now, you guys were talking about costumes there for a little bit, so I am, uh, for the deep fans out there, working on my Fisto costume by growing out my <laughs> facial hair to match this, one of my favorite characters in the, uh, in the series. Not at all because, you know, his name is Fisto, but he is just a powerhouse. But this is our base set uh, for Clash for Eternia, which the point of this is this is to recreate that feeling of taking your action figures and just like smashing them together and just recreating all those cool like battles that you saw in your head as a kid. And, you know, you saw every Saturday morning playing out between the heroic warriors and the evil warriors, you know, He-Man versus Skeletor. But so we're not only like hitting, you know, the nostalgia factor for the fans that grew up with that series, but also entire new generation uh, of players who are coming in or people who are just a fan of board games or just, you know, the aesthetic in general who just see this and go like, man, you know, uh, I don't know what a He-Man is about or anything, but um, this guy has a skull for a face and has an army of hovering robots that are attacking a barbarian guy with a giant, like, you know, tech sword. How cool is this? So, you know, we're catering to, you know, newcomers and oldcomers alike. Very cool. Super excited. I'm excited to dive in. We've just been given a full kind of rundown of the mechanics. And Alex, Mr. Radcliffe from Board Game Co., was already commenting on he doesn't, he's not too upset at the powers and the abilities, the ways that you're playing back and forth. Isn't that right, my friend? Oh, I do. I do enjoy powers and abilities. Uh, I also am, I also enjoy one versus many games. Uh, my favorite one's actually a command game already, Rise, Rise of Moloch. And this one looks fun. I like the interplay of the powers and the transitioning of power back and forth on the two sides. And just abilities and powers. I don't mind miniatures either, but yeah. <laughs> it's true. And you Actually, are going to be playing the uh, the lead villain or master controller in this. Now, let me let me go ahead and swing over to Jan and Shira just to say hi to both of them. And then, Michael, I'll give the floor back to you. Jan, uh, I don't think I need to introduce you too much. You, uh, uh, you're kind of co-host of Quackalope. And uh, <laughs> alongside that, though, you've been effectively guessing as many voices as possible, which is And been... 100% accurate on all of them. So far, perfectly accurate. And then Shira, uh, you were joining us for a gameplay. You know nothing about the comic book, but you're a harsh judge of games. So I'm sure we'll hear your honest thoughts by the end. That sounds about right. <laughs> and Michael, what were you saying there? Uh, so there are basically like just two elements of this game that I also want to touch on, just for the people who are interested in more of the gameplay side of things, is that as mentioned, this is a one versus many, so it's going to be uh, in this setup here, four characters, player characters, versus one person playing as the controller who is basically controlling the side of the game. Um, two unique elements about this, though, is that uh, the players and the controller, those roles can be switched. And by that, I mean that, you know, a lot of games, you know, you always have the players playing as the heroes and the controller or the overlord, whatever term you want to use is playing as the villains. Well, in this one here, uh, you can actually reverse those. Every single character has both a controller version and a uh, player character version. So in this specific game that we're going to be playing today, it is going to be the players controlling the heroic warriors, uh, He-Man, Man-at-Arms. So Chase chose Rain that. Man. I mean, hands off, right? <laughs> It was it was Chase's decision. He uh, forced everyone else into it. And the controller would be playing the evil warriors of uh, Skeletor, Evil Lin, and Beastman. But had they chosen otherwise, you could have the players controlling the uh, the sides of Skeletor, Evil Lin, Beastman, Trap Jaw, uh, Merman, those characters, while the controller plays the heroic warriors instead. So those dynamics can be flipped. In addition to that, we also have a full AI system as well for those who want to play full co-op. We have a um some methods for the controller to be fully automated in specific scenarios with a deck of AI cards that dictates how they play. So awesome. record, I'm cool. just finding that out and that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea. By the way, Michael, uh, did you already get the red die? Cause you were so close already to Fisto. I looked for some pictures, <laughs> like it's, it's a dead <laughs> ring. <laughs> uh, so funny enough on that, my beard actually grows in naturally red, and oh. <laughs> I usually have to dye it black to match the rest of my hair. Otherwise, uh, you know, that comes up. But I usually switch between the two. And I have been, you know, definitely like under Chase's tutelage here, been hitting the gym and like trying to get like, you know, my my arms up, you know, there. Just one bicep curl to be him? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, exactly. It has to be one <laughs> arm. Only yeah, one. It's, it's, it's 50 curls and then 500 curls with this one. Perfect. <laughs> you're so close. 
So let's go ahead and dive into this. We'll get the gameplay started soon. We'll have a timestamp down below that I'm sure some people have already seen and skipped ahead to when the gameplay starts. But Michael, uh, give us a, you don't need to teach us because we just did a run through, but give, give us in the audience an understanding of what we're seeing on the table here. And then I think we'll get into the gameplay and we'll really see how it plays as we kind of take our turns back and forth. Okay, so it's, uh, I guess there's two elements to cover then. We have the general gameplay, whereas you see on one side, you're going to have the player characters. Each one of them is going to control a single character uh, with a set of abilities that they'll be unlocking as the game goes on. And on the other side, you're going to have the controller, which you'll see their area. They have three characters that are controlling, uh, which are simplified versions of player characters with some unique abilities because they are controlling three of them instead of you know just one per player. Some unique powers unique to the controller. Um, and bunch of minions that they will be able to summon in this case hover robots uh, if they were playing the heroic warriors they would have Eternian soldiers instead uh, the board here is a modular uh, game board that has different terrain overlays that is set up based on the scenario that they're playing in today's scenario this one we have dubbed the relic uh, in this one the controller uh, in this case the evil warriors has stolen a relic that they are trying to sneak out of the uh, ba the battlefield here uh, and escape with one of the controller characters determined by the controller is carrying the relic and we have some tokens to determine uh, which one actually is carrying that one their goal is they're trying to get whichever one of their characters has that to the opposite side of the board to this little uh, control uh, token over here if they manage to get the token over there they're going to score one of their victory conditions in this specific scenario there are three victory conditions uh, that can be achieved and it's the first side that's going to get two of those in some scenarios it might be a singular victory condition for both sides it just again depends on the scenarios we've got tons of different ones to play some of them are just head-to-head -head face off some of them are narrative based ones and some are the uh, the co-op versus uh, ai ones that we talked about but going back to this one the first goal is going to be either getting that relic to the other side of the battle uh, battlefield or for the players to ko or knock out the villain that is controlling, uh, that is holding that relic. Characters, of course, not killed or anything in this game. That'll be far too violent for Masters Universe. They are instead incapacitated or knocked out, unless they're a hover robot, in which case they definitely blow up. Uh, the second objective, which is, is honestly a tragedy that no one ever takes the time to ponder. And listen, each of these hover robots has a personality and a backstory and is like its yeah. own little pal. So you should feel bad every time one is incapacitated slash blows up. I do. I'm expecting that backstory every time we do actually blow one up. <laughs> oh yes, they're all written out in the full narrative. We'll make that a stretch goal. Um, the second objective here is you see across the map, you'll see these little sword icons. Those are going to be objectives. Uh, a character can, while adjacent, pick one of those objectives up and it's the first side to collect three of the five that are there. You will also uh, score that victory condition. The last victory condition, which might come down to being the tiebreaker in case like the other sides manage to meet those, is the first side to score four KOs against their opponent. So if player characters are KO'd a total of four times, or if the controller characters are KO'd a total of four times, the first one that does that will get that victory condition there. Shira, don't get any ideas. <laughs> so I will note that mm. we have chosen this specific scenario. Um, as far as the rankings on scenario difficulty and complexity, I would say that this one is probably a medium to high complexity, which really should give you an idea of the overall level of complexity that we're talking about. Um, but this one I felt just displayed a wide range of some of the mechanics to show and some of the cool things that can happen. As I said, there are th fundamentally three different types of scenarios. One where it is a narrative kind of based one where you have set sides. It's always going to be the uh, heroic warriors being the controller or the players and again their narrative focus so it might be for example prince adam and cringer need to find a uh, place to hide and so they can transform into battle cat and he-man and that's the scenario um or maybe king randor has been taken hostage and he has to be rescued another example of a scenario that's just a more like kind of clash one is um you're just trying to collect objectives across the battlefield or you're just trying to ko each other we have some simple ones in there as well again a wide variety so just wanted to let you guys know that one i would rank this one probably about a medium to high complexity as far as like you know objectives and everything go very cool uh so we're actually going to start the game by setting up the order or the order of play right determining uh what action like how everyone is going to activate starting with the four characters that alex is controlling and then uh sequencing up or the three characters that alex is controlling then sequencing up to the heroes themselves and I believe we've chosen a team leader who gets final say on everything. Is that correct? So just noting here, uh, yes, the first thing that happens every game round is the activation phase in which 
uh, the controller and the players are going to determine the order in which characters are going to activate. This is going to start with the controller placing cards face down uh, in secret, and then the players deciding amongst themselves after that point which order they will activate. Now, since the controller at that point will have already placed their cards down, the players can actively decide and talk about, you know, hey, which order do we want to do that in? But really the final say for the order uh, is going to be get placed down via the team leader. And that's just a role that we have decided uh, to include here in this game uh, in case there's any disputes or, you know, uh, arguments amongst the players. But usually this would be a team effort. In okay. case Jazz, in case uh, Jan doesn't agree with Shira or Jazz, Shira can <laughs> hop in and uh, you know say, "Boys, boys, boys, stop fighting! <laughs> this is what we're doing." I think that was going to happen regardless, but yeah. <laughs> Jan, I'm just remembering the hierarchy well. that she established at the very beginning. It, it seemed to, if I recall, have you dying first. Yeah. So, so code names. So we're going to be referring to all of us as code names. I'm I'm Sprinkles Meat Shield. So, Sprinkles so that's going to be my code name. So, Alex, don't pay attention to those random words that we'll be saying. All good. All good. Am I good to go on the uh, starting of machinations? Yeah. Start like playing you down put your, your people uh, down first, and then we. I do indeed. Mm -hmm. Evil machinations coming right up. I'm gonna go ahead and start slotting my my cards on the various four spots over there. No particular reason. It's not like I have any nefarious plans. I don't believe in nefarious plans. I believe in peace and love and happiness. Oh, uh, wow. Especially yes. because all yeah, my right. robots work mm. over at orphanages over the weekend. So uh, please treat them well. Fun do fun they? fact: all of these Every buildings here are volunteers. Every one of them volunteers for an orphanage? Uh, no, actually. This one right over here in the center, he works for a local okay. hospital. <laughs> oh, wow. He's a med robot. Yep, I can see that. Med robot. I thought that level of, of intricacy was just not, you know, Who's worth that? elaborating on. But hey, if you want to know. Alex, oh, I'm no, calling I... a, your first card is controller. Excellent. You are correct. It does say controller on the back. You know what I mean. <laughs> In fact, my second, third, fourth cars and, also are controller. Gentlemen, yeah. gentlemen. Do you I have a preference of what card. order we go in? I, I think for for I think this one should definitely go before this one. I There's think so this many one arrows flying over, so why don't you place the cards in the order you think they should go in and then I'll rearrange them. Do we want to activate in two teams of two? Like uh quadrants or uh where's the where's gonna be the first there one? There are there are too many hands just flying around. Sure, you're gonna have to make hard decisions. And you all can talk openly about how you want things yeah. to go. Uh, to a, I mean, Alex has already made his choice. Yeah. Yes, but Ish. then the order, hypothetically speaking, if this were advanced uh, whatever, then the knowing the order of what's coming up might mean that I move that robot this way and that robot that way. I, I do hear what you're saying. Ultimately, but I'm just moving strategy, towards Mitchell. Not your strongest name. Jan, do you want to do a repeat? You want to do a, it's like a Budapest all over again, or do you want to do a... Well, I guess, I, I think it's already been decided for us, my all friend. Right. So Let's so I guess it. we change it up. Sh sure, you, you, you're, it up. you're confident you want this one here? Which one? This one right here, in that position? Yes, I am. Okay. All Otherwise, right. No, all right. I'm not confident you want that one there. <laughs> so not no, I, there was there's something specific I want to everyone. do. Okay, perfect. Not on TTS. It would it would be much easier for everyone to get around the table and go. No, I think this one. Oh, yeah, definitely that one first. And I guess okay. technically the controllers already put their stuff down. I right? am going to go ahead and start with the flipping of my first oh, card. Darn I it. stuck with I exactly what I did the first time. Why would I change mm. an otherwise perfect action? I don't I think it was change perfect, action. Alex. I'm going to go one, two, three. I'm taking two actions, move action, followed by another one, two, three, move action. Ooh. Like so. Slight shifting of priorities. But then I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and spend this energy token to go ahead and spawn a shadow beast using my second action control beast. I'm going to spawn one shadow beast in an adjacent space. I love how you knew exactly where it was going. It was going in front of me and that's going to be my turn. Alex, you know, you could technically put it on top of the objective. Can I? I think so. Yep. Then I absolutely will. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you will. Smash. <laughs> I see no reason Jan, not to. no, you're on. wrong team, Jan. Wrong team. Okay, so uh, Alex, the I think. Oh, by the way, Alex, it's power cubes, not energy cubes. I think okay, it's an Sprinkles important Mitchell. distinction. <laughs> he found yes. your code name. No. <laughs> oh no, guys! I think we need to change it up then. Uh, okay, so next, who's next? We've got. I mean, we've got a secret names power. We've all been using for you. <laughs> Is that you all the actions you're doing? Do you want to share those with the class? 
And that's all I'm doing. Yes. All right. The next one flips. Oh! All right. We need a hero. Here we go. He man. He man. I will now move. So one of the interesting things about this initiative track beyond all players being able to determine when they want to go is that you are in, some players are incentivized to go later in the turn order so that they can capitalize on power. Power is going to be one of the main mechanics in the game. Imagine that it's basically resource allocation. These cubes here, these golden, these golden little cubes start populating your player board. And depending on how the game start moving forward, you're going to have different skills that you're going to be able to allocate those cubes to. What do those cubes do exactly? Well, they're going to be expendable resources that you can do in order to boost or augment certain types of actions that you're doing. For example, but yes. the universe always balances itself, right, Michael? That's mm -hmm. correct. The balance between good and evil must be maintained. And that will happen after, for example, if I activate my sword of power, and in my sword of power, I have attack boost. If I spend two power, I get three dice and I'm incredibly powerful. However, after my incredibly powerful turn, those two re power cubes are going to go over to Alex's side and he will be able to allocate them anywhere amongst four different areas, either to one of the three spaces he has for each one of his characters or the overall area down here, which is going to be his specialty player powers. Well, no, controller powers for the entirety of the game. So it is a very nuanced balance of how much do I want to push and also suffer consequences on the next go round, right? Oh. So. Yeah, that was a fantastic explanation, except for one thing oh. is that when you uh, assign power, it goes to his uh, controller powers that he has, can't go to his characters. Oh. But otherwise, that was a spot on 110% like great explanation. I loved every bit of it. Uh -huh. Except you, the part that you. was wrong. Except the part <laughs> that was wrong. Yeah, that's true. He then takes it as successful. So I'm going to attack. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and attack uh, this robot here. And so can can as as I am destroying this robot and reducing it to a hunk of metal, could you all just give me the backstory as to why it is next to these three stones? Uh, yeah, it's collecting pebbles for little Tommy at the orphanage who requested mm. some pebbles brought back when he next goes out loves, to the wilds. Loves ge geology. That's an evil orphanage, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tommy sounds mm. like a very evil name. <laughs> I mean, I hear Arguably. that. Honestly, have the enough dice there? The reason he is in an orphanage is a lot of his schoolmates thought that it was an evil name and killed his parents. <laughs> what? Wow, the the reboot That's of so Masters funny. Universe is dark. Ruthless. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and roll. Oh wow! Oh, what? Ooh. So let's explain. That is about as bad as you can do. Uh, oh my God! Wait, no, that's true. It is super it's horrible. It's horrific. Oh no! You can't do anything. You uh, know what the good news is, Jen? Wait, Tommy will what? be happy. How did this wait? How did that Are you even rolling happen? them again? Are you rolling again? No, what is I'm happening just here? <laughs> I'm just testing what happened. Okay, so to explain to the audience what happened, if you look closely at every single one of the characters, you'll notice that they have a number and a symbol next to it. The number represents the amount of dice that you'll be able to throw, and the symbol represents the symbol that you want. Every dice contains three sword symbols, two uh target symbols and finally the fortress of power symbol is that correct Grayskull. Grayskull. Yes. Castle Grayskull. Grayskull. okay uh I, I, you can tell that i'm not necessarily super familiar with the base uh with a base franchise here but either way the idea is that you're trying to hit or roll your symbols i just tried to give you an example of what not to do on your turn so in my roll, I actually rolled all hit symbols, which would have been great for somebody like Shira, but definitely not for for me, unfortunately. Jan, so, you yes. spared the robot mm. after you heard the after mm -hmm. you heard the story of him collecting pebbles for Tommy, whose parents died in a tragic murder yeah. scene. Mm -hmm. You yeah. spared the robot. I I, I really yeah. appreciate that you That's took a... you took that into consideration. I also consideration. have to. That's what I did. I need to jump in one other time here and say something because I think this is going to happen a couple times during this video, is that we have the player Shira playing Orko, not to be confused <laughs> with the character Shira, who is not in the game. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That would have been really fun if I could have played Shira as yourself. Well, it's just a, in I, my it's head, just a, you're I keep... still He-Man's twin sister, so it works. It'll just be. 
No, it's true. I've always been told when anyone hears my name, they're like, oh, are you Princess Shira? Like, is that who you were named after? It's like, not really. You are a Close master enough. of the universe, though, Shira, or at least a Quackalo. So Yes, definitely. It all balances out. So the last thing that I want to mention about these dice. So for example, I rolled, I missed everything. However, if I would have rolled any of these symbols, let's see if I can get it there. Uh, that would have represented two things. First is a success no matter what type of attack I'm doing, either a ranged attack, which is what these target symbols are for, or a melee attack, which are going to be the swords. It also is going to give me an additional power for my turn. Unfortunately, I did not do any of that. I completely missed. So yeah, I like that you're great. still talking about it. Yeah, it's great. Mm -hmm. I'm, I, your, is your turn over now? Oh, it was over since before can you, it started. Can you recap what you did on your turn and then we'll let Alex go? Oh no, I think it's pretty, I moved. That's all I did. <laughs> he failed, he failed, recap, failure. Cool, I'm gonna Alex, go ahead take a and turn. flip mine and I have the controller. Thank you so kindly for moving he -Man right next to me. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm gonna go no. ahead and move one, two, three with this minion like so. Uh, I can move each minion, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and activate this one and I'm gonna start with an attack against uh, uh, Ram, Ram Man, who I do not think I'll get anywhere for what it's worth. Uh, in fact, Ram Man is a melee attack. Hmm, do I wanna to try to just be frustrating? Cause I don't imagine I really don't appreciate you doing that, You Alex. know what, I'm actually, no, I'm not going to. I'm gonna walk, walk far away instead. Thank I'm gonna go um, I'm gonna go, let's see. Oh, these non-violent hover can... robots, see? Yeah, yeah. non-violent. What can you, one, what are you two, doing? Three is going to be one. I'm gonna go with this robot over here. I am gonna attack He-Man. So let's go of ahead and roll for are. that one. So that one's gonna roll two dice. I'm gonna mm -hmm. roll these two dice over here. And let me guess, you're gonna hit both of them, right? Likely. I mean, <laughs> it's honestly a self-defense is what it is. Yep, of oh, course you are. Yep. <laughs> two yep. hits against He-Man. Oh, the armor. <laughs> oh, wonderful. You have no armor, unfortunately, so you go down by mm. two. Unfortunately, yes. Uh, Michael, is there any way for me to gain health? Yes, there is. Oh, th so there are ability. some effects and skills in the games that heal. He-Man actually has his built-in indomitable ability because he oh. is the strongest man in the universe. Aha! Tell okay. ho! I don't but know I'm, what he and... says. I'm not done moving. <laughs> I'm going to go one, two, three with this robot. This robot's gonna go one, two, three, like so. Just closing Ooh. in, no big deal. You were just um, gunking up the uh, These robots are gonna go, I think I wanna be far away from you over there. I'm gonna be uh, <laughs> one, two, three, and one, two, oh, okay. three. Okay, I just have to in point one this out. Direction. I have to point this out, I have a question. Why is everyone coming to me and running away from Ram Man? An excellent question. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and take my two power that I take on the controller turn, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna put it in the command spot like so, okay? Which is going to allow one of my characters to take a move action. Uh, with that move action, I believe I'm going to go ahead and activate my two power to spend my two. Uh, one of my characters will take a move action, and I will take Evil Lynn will take a move action going one, two, three. And that's my turn. So that's gonna be your next activation, huh? Great. I have no idea what you're talking I about. Am, I am so sorry to the four of you because it seems like critical thinking and strategy might actually be overpowered. No idea what you're talking about. And that's my turn. Uh, just a quick summary of my turn. I moved a whole bunch of robots. I attacked and successfully self-defended myself against this evil, vicious He-Man person. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. Evil Lynn just moved around a bit. And that's my everything, turn. Everything that the robots do from this point on, I do consider self-defense. I absolutely believe it was. Man fact, at arms? Honestly, <laughs> oh, the robots no. moved away <laughs> yeah. from other characters who did not attack him violently and moved towards their com companions to help. That's true. He's just man of just watching in the corner just as he man's getting like sworn by robots and clawed down. All because I missed an impossible <laughs> roll. Oh. All right. Uh. Let's see who's going next. Well, that changed my turn. You can flip it. Yes. Orko. I had such a great action going forward. All right. I'm going to move one, two, three. And then I'm going to do a second move. One, two, three. Three. There you go. Stand over there, and I will take my two cubes because I was in the second spot. I had such a beautiful plan laid out beforehand. I also uh, had a beautiful plan. And a plan consisting <laughs> of magic bolts. Let's see, whereas my plan, robots. my plan failed because of what Alex did. Your plan failed because of you. 
Because I rolled dice. That's not the same thing. Because of you, I heard the exact same thing. Awesome. Oh. All right. <laughs> next flipping. Who goes next? Uh, oh, what a surprise. Oof. Evil so, in. It's so to be clear, everybody takes their power cubes at the beginning just in case. Yep. So, Alex, yep. there you go. I gave you your other one. Perfect. Evelyn's going to go ahead and take one action, going one, two, three. And She's then going to interact with this little token mm -hmm. over here. Um, I don't have the rights to take the token. So someone's going to have to grab that for me. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And that was going right. to be Evelyn's turn. She's not going to uh, do any actions. She's just, I'm not going to do any bonus actions. And she's just going to call it a day. Now, we have another interesting thing that has just happened. Now, this is based on the scenario, but we have another mechanic in this game called Escalation. Escalation is basically represents, as the name says, the escalating fight between the controller and the players. Each scenario will dictate when this happens. In this specific scenario, it happens every time a character is KO'd and every time an objective is picked up. But whenever escalation happens, our escalation track over here on this part of the board is going to advance by one. Ooh. Boom, we have okay. advanced by one. Now, what does that mean? We have hit a little green area. This means that the game has escalated. Every character here, as you'll see, has a set of three skills, one of which is your green skill. If you actually flip that card over, you have your option between two different skills that you have just unlocked. So everyone here gets to pick one of their skills and unlock it, and you have gained a new skill that you can allocate power to and utilize. Now, of course, not to leave the controller out over here, <laughs> just as the forces of good have escalated, so have the forces of the controller. One of your powers, you can now flip it over to its empowered side, gaining additional effects. Ooh. I'm gonna look All right, that. I'm flipping this. Oh, back. wow. All right. All right. Getting tactical here. <laughs> tactical so as, people, as people decide what they're doing, go ahead and read aloud the card that you've chosen. Well, Man at Arms is surveying the chaos around him, and he's deciding he's going to go with tactical reposition, being the, the tactical mastermind that he is. And so, as a bonus action for two power, one ally within two spaces moves up to two spaces and gains a power. And that power! Be, and it can be boosted for one more power. That ally will also heal for one. So, we'll keep him up and running. Yeah. Seems like, like, seems like a know. good thing to do. <laughs> I'm just noticing, you know. Yeah, Ren, Ren, your, your options that you have here, your green power. You've chosen yeah. your yellow here, so you're technically oh, there cheating. there you go. <laughs> and by technically, I mean entirely. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Orko chose the endless hat for two cubes. The bonus action is that I could roll three dice, gain the following based on the result. If I get the sword, one enemy within four spaces becomes dazed. If I have the target, all allies within four spaces heal. And if I get the gray skull, one enemy within four spaces suffers one wound. What if I get See, two of the symbols? Like, do oh, both effects are, take? You get all the effects based on what you roll. So Orko there could three. potentially Ooh, heal, that's... deal three, stun everyone, or daze everyone around him. It's an endless hat, that's... endless possibility. See, See that's, Jen, exciting. that's how you do dice. You set it up so that you cannot bail. <laughs> that's fantastic, too, because Orko <sighs> isn't known. Uh, his magic can be a little bit weird and unpredictable sometimes, so. That captures right. some of that. All right. I like so that a lot. For, for Ram Man, um, he has Axe Chop. So for one power, he may convert um, Gray Skull symbols to plus two successes. Whoa. And for um, two power, he can have an attack boost that lets him roll one more die, and then yes. he can reroll any dice after that. Nice. And uh, then, Jan, what did you choose? I have a question for Michael beforehand. When I push, do I get to choose the pushing direction as I do that, or is it in a straight line from wherever I initiated my attack? So push is you uh, can push them in any direction you want. They just have to end further than they started. Pull uh -huh. is the opposite. You can pull them in any direction, but they have to end closer than they started. Excellent. So I will be choosing throw. Throw is going to be activated with a single power, and it's going to allow me to push enemies that I wound initially up to two spaces. However, here's the catch. If I continue boosting my power, I can push an enemy an additional two spaces for one more power, and for another power, if that enemy that I just pushed and ends adjacent to another enemy, I can do a three-range attack on that enemy, and they do not generate any power from that. So, yeah, it's like, it's like bowling. <laughs> kind of excited. 
<laughs> well, for myself, I've activated a battle plan where my strategy cards gain their upgrade effect when played. Oh, I didn't want to know about your stuff, Alex. Ooh. Yeah, not really. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. I believe right about now it's going to be, after we've resolved all that, it's going to be someone else's turn. Yeah, the hero's turn. Man at arms, please. I'm scared. Let's see what we got. Yeah. There we go. All right. Man and at all. I'll take my two power. And now that you so have unlocked, that, as we... now that you have two skills unlocked, you do choose where they are allocated Ooh. to. Nice. Now he yeah, will still he take escape damage, right? With the tactical reposition, he would still take uh, escape damage. Yes. And anytime yes. you move while you're adjacent to an, an enemy, you do take a point of damage. Except right. if you were to kill that guy before we do the thing. Mm. Well, then it you're can... moving next to a corpse slash robot debris, not really an enemy. Uh, and for line of sight, can I see through a friendly character? Yes. Yeah, so for line of sight, everything in the game that uses range is four spaces. Uh, it ignores models for anything for those purposes. Um, and very few bits of terrain, just like mainly the walls of ruins, will block line of sight. It's a very simple little uh, line of sight system there. All right. Um, Jane, do you want me to, want me to kill this. the guy next to you or not? So this is what I'm going to say. Even if you were to move me two spaces right now, all the... like. If I were Alex, I would play controller first on the next turn, yeah. and all the robots would reach me no matter what. Okay. Um, so I think it's better if we focus on like what you were planning on just eliminating as many threats as we can for now. Sounds good. That's in that a good case, idea. I was planning on playing controller last. Good point. I, uh, mm -hmm. I'll allocate it to my main uh, card here then, and I'm going to start moving up. One, two, three. I'm right behind He-Man. He's like the human shield in front of me. Me and, shield, and Sprinkles, I'm gonna take Sprinkles, a. Uh, I'm gonna spend my power now, and Ooh. use the rapid fire ability to shoot the uh, uh, hover robot right in front of him. So as he's getting his head banged against the wall or something, I'll I'll take a shot here. So I'm gonna roll over here. So you so you come up on a situation where the robot's acting in pure self defense. <laughs> that I couldn't you, see from knowing, around the rock. <laughs> knowing nothing other than other than what's happening, have just completely shot that robot out of there. Tommy will I, never get it. I'm I'm acting in the heroic defense of others here. It's uh... <laughs> what about me? Everyone's concerned about Tommy. What about the guy that's getting his face exactly. punched in? You by, attacked by a robot. He didn't hit him. All right. I, I yeah, think exactly. It's debatable. It's a. Uh... I was aiming for the rocks, Jesse, and I'll let you know that I actually hit the rock. So I was helping. He was so helping gonna, his geological studies. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll my four dice here. And this is actually my bonus action. So I'll have another action after this. And so here we go. Let's get some targets. That landed on the target. What do we call him that? I'd give it to you. Um, Cause it was, oh, it's falling. Yeah, that's that, that looks legit. It's the, uh, See, there the we go. idiosyncrasies of tabletop simulator. <laughs> okay, that's going okay. to be two hits. So two hits will be enough to puncture through the robot's armor and take out his last little remaining health. And that power I had makes its way over to oh, the I've controller grabbed it then. He yeah. grabbed, it grabbed it. I'm going to assign it to my battle plan with my All right. the upgraded and cards. For my second action, I think I'm going to move. Should I move all the way up and kind of tank for a second hmm uh you're very you're you're squishy oh well you're seven I'm, but you don't have i can't get dude. it i can't get it back though that's the problem yeah, I, if, i'll um, stop here if a friendly person is in front of a doorway can the enemies walk through him to enter the room or would he no, efficiently you block the doorway you can move spaces uh, through spaces of enemies but he'll so also maybe take move Oh, okay. You you aren't moving away. You can try and attack them before you have to move next time. And that's why I... you're blocking them from getting in that room to getting that objective. Actually, you know, you're right, because if he doesn't activate the controller, I might go first. Uh, would yeah. they take damage moving through the square then, though? They will. Any uh, model takes damage from moving out of a space adjacent to an enemy. But they have armor. Uh, so that ignores armor, so it would instantly oh, kill the hover robots. I will, Sorry, instantly explode the hover robots. We don't. I'm gonna so you're like standing there holding them by, yeah. the, by the steel casings. They're trying to run away, and you're just like, if you move, I'll crush you. However, is, you uh, are. Man at Arms is definitely not sitting there holding them at gunpoint and threatening <laughs> them if they move. <laughs> it's a stern, you know, gaze. He's just. All right, All right I'll stop just... there then. And now we you know we're here. I think you should um, move one more forward. You think I should? If I stay here, right, they can't move into the door anyway. They'll no, 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 destroy. No. Oh, you yes. have to go. Oh, you're right. No, you, he's right. No, but if they go, if he goes one more forward, then anywhere they move, they will be moving away from him and I guess be killed. Right. However, however, I just want, I just want to let you know that 
if Alex does play controller first, you have the op that may be getting six damage on your turn to start with. Yeah. So well, the I robots only have, they only, they move oh, and attack and they only have two dice. Okay. So four damage, potential damage on your turn. Potential. Okay, so you. They can only move and attack. So if I, they can move up and hit me, or if I'm there, they'll just hit me, but they can't hit me twice. Yeah, Correct. but they'll yeah, and they'll just move away. Um, yeah, okay. So I think what she, if you want to move, this is probably the best bet. I thought you were going to attack two times. Oh yeah, that would have been probably good as well. <laughs> um, well, since I already moved there, I guess I will stay there, and I'll just wait for a heroic defense from uh, He Man. Now we can switch oh, sides. <laughs> I don't know if you should count on me for that, as we've seen so far. <laughs> All right, so recap your turn, and then let's swing All over right. the next player. So I moved up, and then I took a shot as a free bonus action, and then as my second action, since I had a, a one action, a bonus action, and my final action was to move up and block the doorway, trying to put a little pressure on, on Alex with what he's going to do as controller next turn when he activates them. And in the process, you handed Alex two power cubes, or whatever these gems are called. And so, mm -hmm. Alex, where have you where have you assigned them here? I've allocated them to my battle plan where I can draw cool cards that are incredibly powerful. They're ridiculous, honestly. It's a little unbalanced, for really. Well, that no, you're is my spirits. You're oh. exaggerating, which means you're probably telling some lies. So. <laughs> cool. Uh, so now it's my turn. I'm going to go ahead and activate, I'm sure you can guess, Skeletor. What? Three power, assigning it to Skeletor to utilize however he sees fit preferably not on top of another one like that. We'll go ahead and move that off. I'll make it all clean later. Uh, just glancing at my powers again. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, so this is gonna go ahead one, two, three. It's gonna be a fairly boring turn just because of the way the board is situated. And then going, uh, let's that's see, not um, it. one, two, three over here. And that's gonna be a day for Skeletor. Man, uh, out of my way, you nincompoops. Let a true <laughs> mastermind through. That's really good, actually. That was on point. Yeah, it was. We uh, have a problem, everybody. An entire turn. Skulls is not going to be doing anything more interesting than that. That's all he's doing. Hey. We we have a big problem, everyone. Do. Mm. I think Jen's right. done the yes. math. Next uh, player. Well, we have Grand to get. Man. Yeah, so let's um gain my three. I'm gonna put uh, two here. One, two. Oh, and the uh, third one is gonna go up here. Yeah. Michael, can uh, you yeah. do that? Is that a, is that do is that uh, allowable? What allocating the power out that? Yes. Yeah, so he you can split absolutely. up the power. We need your power. Wants. You get it however way you want to distribute that. That's awesome. Cool. All right. So let's move one, two, three. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll try and grab those dice for you. There you so go. No dice. The All greatest right, threat so, to Eternia. <laughs> uh, so I'm. I have two moves. The next one, I am going to. Uh... Now you could, you could. I'm checking the, the the terms over here. Rocks allow you to climb up on top of them for extra movement and get a, a additional Less. attack damage. Less movement. Uh, no, it, it costs more to get on top of them. Yes. Uh, boulders, which you're standing next to, are can actually terrain types that can be thrown at. Correct. Creatures, right. And yes, is this little robot a range of four away? Mm -mm. It's five. Is it a range? Is it a range from the character or range yeah. from the boulder? Uh, it is a range from the character. Yep. Are we, are, are we concerned at all but, about not but, contesting objectives? But he is. Yes, but, that's no, what I was concerned. But, no. but this. Uh, it's not like you can stop me. <laughs> but the shadow, the shadow beast is within four, and he is within line of sight. Oh. So we will be tossing this boulder. Great idea. The shadow. You, you, so another uh, nice. another recommendation, another recommendation. One of the things that we haven't clarified about getting uh, interacting with these tokens is that if an enemy character or minion is next to that token, the uh, the opposing player may not interact with that piece. I think based on Ram Man, you should activate Ram with an attack boost and attack the Shadow Beast so that Alex cannot take that initiative token on his next turn. I think you're gonna have to abdicate at so, least one of the initiative tokens. So you're saying we already did, Justin. You're, you're saying attack with the the. the... You have so, so this so, is three so spaces away and is adjacent. I think right, Michael. This would be adjacent right here. Uh, that is correct. Yeah. Ah, I see what you're saying. Is uh, there? I, can I, you ram them? I think. Do you have to just move up or? 
Yeah, move up to three spaces, and okay, then I see you what you're saying. Your but battle. one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the ram attack there won't actually. It says that yeah, you attack, attack though. It says that the attack hits everyone that he moves through when he's doing that. Oh. Yeah, he's not moving through anyone. So yeah. next turn, he'll be in the optimal position just to like destroy. <laughs> so I could, yeah. I would have to sacrifice myself, prevent him from just being able to just take that by moving another three spaces. Close and there. giving me two power in the process. I recommend it. No, yeah, no, no. He could just he normal could just move. walk up and I he's can just sitting on a ton here. of power. Yes. And that power won't go away. It just keeps piling up and, until he spends it. And, and you I, also have two and shields. And I have two, have two shields, correct. Oh, man. Okay. Jazz. I, I, I like that movement. Jazz, I just want to take one moment to point out, you're listening to Jan. That's it. That's all I was pointing out. <laughs> oh, come on. I have good strategies that people don't want to listen. Self-sacrificial <laughs> strategies? <laughs> I, I, I I actually do like this better than the throw because Beast, Beast Man is or whatever is right behind him. Okay. Which he, he'd be able to... At, interact Ram with that. Ram through um, them, yeah. Yes, so let's go right there, and I'll do that two movement. And that will end my turn. Okay. All right. I believe it's time to take our cars back and set up for the next round. And Alex, Beastman is famous for messing up his evil plans that he's being told to do. So if something goes wrong there, it's not really your fault. It's it's probably Beastman's fault. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. There's no there's nothing going wrong here. I'm totally Perfect. So we have our episode to be continued of Ram Man wandering into the ruins to face Beast Man and a Shadow Beast. Meanwhile, Orko has wandered into these ruins over here and stumbled across a relic and an objective here. In the other side of things, we have the heroic Man at Arms and He Man facing off against two dastardly hover robots. Currently held at gunpoint. Uh, yeah, minorly held at rifle point. <laughs> <laughs> In a very non-violent way, you know, just a, again, I like the stern look uh, motif here. You know, Duncan is not angry at them. He's just very disappointed that they would choose to be evil, obviously. <laughs> I just, I was imagining the, the the first one that got destroyed, I was thinking of like one little rifle shot that pinged off the side and kind of sent it spinning off into the side of the rocks there. Just a, a nice little explosion, mm. like slow-mo explosion compilation. <laughs> it looks like Alex is uh, choosing his sequence of cards here. And... Oh. Uh, anyone, anyone advocating? I know, I know TTS is a little weird for this negotiation, but any, any above board talk that wants to help direct Shira on, on who wants to go first? So oh, yeah, okay. I have, I have a few things that I want to mention straight off the how much, bat. How much power do you all want and what order do you want to all go in? Well, I want to, I want to talk about what's happening on this sector of the board first. Yeah. Um, well, I was going <laughs> to let that sector go to, go die. I was focused what? on the other sector. <laughs> so oh my goodness. That, that sector can just all self-destruct. Hmm. No, so, I wouldn't recommend that in a cooperative game, Shira. So what do we think for order we're, operations? We're cooperative? I didn't know that. I thought hmm. we were competitive. So one option could be, now that I see the controller has his cards down, I can, yeah. um, if I have enough power, one option can be I can do a... Uh, I could do bonus uh, to two actions to shoot at both these guys, hopefully destroying them. And then He-Man can run by and do his own thing. If I've got two power, I could do that and then boost him and give him two movements so that he's ready to like really get up here and maybe deal some damage. Uh, it depends on how All early right. you want to go. You uh, all need to keep in mind though, yeah. you set you set Man at Arms uh, up in a position, but you also set Ram Man Ram up in Man a position up. where either yeah. of them going early might be able to like alex can only deal with one of them right. first ram and man do you have enough power right now to do your ramming ability i would oh, be yeah. able to do it yes and i'd be able to <laughs> and i'd be able to ram through both of these characters <laughs> yeah and do an so act shot afterwards i'm inclined yes. to have you go first and then have this character pinned by two robots go second one then... thing that i want to clarify as we as we talk about that skeletor Alex will either play one or two cards first. I, I at least I would, either Skeletor or Controller. Controller to try and really weaken our, uh, Man at Arms, and mm. also try and take control of any of these. So, for example, well, no, yeah, actually. So this robot could potentially come in here and protect that as a controller, and then these two robots would swarm around this. Or if he does play Skeletor, he's going to reach this objective immediately and just take it. Dan, so, would you like to be team leader? You have so many great ideas. No, 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 I'm no, just no, no. Pointing Don't it make out. Jan team leader. One, one key Shira. thing is the shadow beast activating on the controller minion 
phase or with beastmen? Good question. Who, who, who oh, Michael, how does that work? No, Sorry, you're right. The question. Michael, does, wh when does uh, when does the shadow beast activate with beastmen? Shadow beast is a minion. Robots? It activates when minions go. Okay. Ooh. Oh, so oh okay. wow. So it actually. So I can. Times. Wow. I can see an argument being had that Alex is going to do a whole collection of things. Either way, votes have been cast. Shira, go ahead and place down our uh, our order of operations, and let's let's see how this is going to resolve. I think I think I think there's an argument for everything, honestly. Well, except except uh, except of course Orko going first. There's no argument on behalf of Orko going first. Are you kidding me? That's the obvious play. Thank you. <laughs> we also got to think uh... about who's got the football here, right? We're getting these objectives. It's getting tight for that, but is it scout? Oh, yeah, probably right. Actually, down one, of them's, one of them's trying to cross the entire field. What are you talking about? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. I would leave Orko probably last. Mm -hmm. Because there's nobody going against Orko. Stock up the power and just, you know, yeah. blast whoever gets close. Yeah, why would Orko go first? The endless hat of doom. Because Orko okay. would just grab an initiative and then move. That would be Are it. we locked the in, ladies and gentlemen? The plan has been set. Let's do it. Let's play Jan, what did I play first, Jan? I, I already controller. called it either Skeletor or Controller. It's, yeah, that's, yeah, it's uh, controller. Of course it's either controller. does not count. Of course it is. Either it counts for nothing. All right. Alex, I mm -hmm, go ahead. We're going to go ahead and start with these two uh, over here attacking them both. We're going to go ahead and yeah. two dice. And looking across the table, I can see that your okay. controller board has a lot of... Uh, no, no, actually, it's a good point. I should probably spend one first to draw a card. Just in case, and speaking of which, I should get get an energy as well right back. So I get an energy, then I'm drawing a card. I'm assigning that energy to this. Yes, okay. I'm gonna look at that card. One of uh, those uh, broken battle plan cards. Hmm. Would you like to share it? it? Nope, nope. I'm drawing one more. Okay. Okay, perfect. And then I'm going to go ahead and attack. So I'm gonna attack with my first little uh, robobot attacking against uh, man at arms. Now, I've seen how everyone else has rolled so far, so I don't predict it's hurting that much. Dude, that's pretty oh, I told you. Nope. I done. Do the other one. The other one is the Jason. Nice. Arms is oh, they're not up. ranged attacks. Right. Cool. Oh, oh wow. Nice. Okay. This, this is good for go you, ahead. That, area. <laughs> that was all part Three, of the plan. I just... Going around back here. And, going... and now he hits both. Oh, Again, honestly. I just, just for a moment, just for a moment. They're uh, non-violent robots. This that's is right. just being more confirmed. Okay. One hit on man at arms. Uh, he man, he man, he man, he man. I'm also noticing Michael's probably criticizing my move, thinking Alex, you should have gone one, two, three, and attacked him there. I realized too late. You're, um, you're really, you're going for the murder on Jan here. Well, if you moved Alex, they would have died immediately. That's, That's a good true. point. Uh, my first move is tactically sound as intended. Okay, Alex, I'm you should have moved. Uh, I'm actually I'm so go... back caught up here on um on you. You know, it's neat seeing the different types of controllers that you have because some people gravitate toward like the strategies and the battle plans. I mm. myself am a minion master. I like boosting up my reserves and just swarming the board of minions yeah it's so it's neat to see the different strategies that come into play what they do i'm always intrigued about what they do so we're gonna go ahead and let me take a quick look you guys don't really have any area control thingy so i'm gonna continue to double down on my initial plan going one two three over here uh -oh. and then one two three <laughs> we're just gonna mm -hmm. just lock up mm. uh, meanwhile i have one lone minion over here who feels that Ram moves three spaces, ignoring escape damage, right? So he could move three however he wants. It's not a straight line. Interesting. That's a little bit more frustrating. And so no, I guess... No, for you. You're frustrated. <laughs> the problem is I can't move away because I would take escape damage. So the only logical thing to do is to smash. So I'm going to go ahead <laughs> and roll... Just smash. Let's smash away. The uh, automatically he's converts. Oh, he's scary. Oh, no. He may push him. So I'm going to go roll... And we rolled one castle, did. one hit. So we have two hits. Great. And enemies wounded may be pushed up to two spaces. Oh, but, no. but no, he is no. not wounded. You're safe. He was not wounded. Oh, nice. thank God. Oh, man. Oh, you're unfortunately safe. Wow. Maybe one of, Ram one Ram. of the only heroes with Ram an actual Ram. shield. Cool. That was unfortunately uh, a decent turn. I could have had better, but a decent turn. I'll take it. So you're 100% um, activating Skeletor like I thought. Okay. Exactly. That's exactly what's happening. And it's now right. uh, your turn. Who'd you choose? A quick a recap. Right, I just man. swarmed the board with minions, attacked a lot, and had some hits and some misses. There we go. So I will gain my one power. We will attack. Uh, I'll be taking three dice, but... Wait, you're going to ram. Yeah, yeah. Wait, I mean, that's uh, what I'm saying. I'm going to be ramming. 
and I'm going to be spending two. All right. At the I end really of this hate, action. I really hate that every time the heroes are doing something cool, in the back of my mind, I'm going, but Alex is getting powered up. Skeletor oh, so already <laughs> has three. Ah, so it will be after the act. Do, do I have to spend the attack boost now, right? You spend it now, but you, I yes. get it after the action. Yes. Yeah. So we will be rolling these three. So Ram states that before you do the attack, you move up to three spaces. Yes. You hit and I push you everything. Through. Yep. So move one, two. I will be taking the same spot where um, Beastman yes. is. Oh, nice. So how are you pushing Beastman? I'm going to move him. So he gets to move one, correct? You push all of them, but however you want. Yep. Up to one space. Up. Yep. So up yeah, to you... one space, right? So if uh, I'm moving through two of them, how is that? How am I going to effectively? So he would have to move could, down here. Is that correct? Yeah, you could move. Yeah. Yep. Okay. You can't push him into another enemy. Yeah, that's what was. So pushing him into another enemy would that, that push the other beast man uh, back? No. So you basically the way this the way the effect is worded, you move and then you push anyone you move through and it on one space. Okay. And you can't push a guy into a space that's containing another one. So. Sure. Okay. So my but my attack will be able to effectively is attacking attack both of those enemies is, yes. at the same time. And again, okay. by the text on there, that attack hits all enemies you move through. So it's one roll that's applied against everyone you move through. Okay. And oh just to be clear God. before you roll, you're just choosing to only move two. Correct. You could you could sure. move through all three. Yeah. Well, oh. I wouldn't no. be able to. I would only be able to move. No, through you wouldn't. Two. No, the question no, is you should only be able to. Yeah, to get I to think here. you should. I think you should end up there, so you're right next to the objective. In Correct. case you manage yeah. to kill this thing, you can Correct. pick it up. So let's see. Kill it. Yes! There you go. So. <laughs> oh my yes! gosh! Yes! Oh my gosh! The wow, tables baby. have turned. Is a beast the orco go blood down there is in, is, in, is so. very high. <laughs> and my uh, little oh. character over here is going to unfortunately die. Yes. And then yes! I feel like Ram Man's going to save the day here. <laughs> for my for my yeah. second for my second, I will um. Interact Claim with that this objective. objective. Yes! Right. I'm so happy that worked wow. out. Wow, oh. fantastic. Cause okay. There's a slight here. delay on the recording, so I heard some terrifying scream happen below me and oh. then realized it was Jan going, yes, yes. moments later. <laughs> I was like, someone was just murdered, and then I realized it was Jan yelling and celebrating. <laughs> and that's the first point we've scored. Oh, actually, oh, man. what no, happens? We're going to have escalation now, right? Oh, yeah, we're closer to we're closer to getting another power. It did advance really up to two, out. but it didn't hit oh. another area. Okay. okay. All right. Oh, is that the end of your turn, and, Ram Man? Yes, that is the end of my turn because oh, I have no yes. bonus actions. And here comes okay. Skeletor. He's making a run. Skeletor, here comes Skeletor. I'm I'm worried that it's I'm gotta just... be. Go ahead, it's and Skeletor. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Ah. Skeletor. Yep. Of course taking it is. Taking two energy. One and two. Okay, now Skeletor is slightly irritated by your uh, machinations. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's only powerful. One, though. two, three. Skeletor is definitely powerful to a degree. I think Skeletor wants to focus more on just pain right now. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> well, remember, Jan uh, is, is, you know, that's his department, I think. And Alex, um, these are yours. I'm not going to. Yep. Oh, yeah. Thank you for that. I'm going to go ahead and assign those. I will assign one towards battle plan. Uh, when one of your character's minions attacked, oh, interesting. And power could be useful. I'm actually gonna stick with command for right now. Okay. Mm. Responding minions. All so many options. I like so many options. Okay. Very good. Um, oh, interesting. Okay. That was a minor tactical thing. Okay, cool. Uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is we have Havoc Staff. Um, uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> One second. No, 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 no. It's all enemies within two spaces. That's a ranged, that's a melee attack, unfortunately. And then I have Life Siphon, which is one range hero within four. Um, that is unfortunate. Hmm. Because I don't love your little Ram Man dude. I don't love him. Ah. Uh. He's okay. nice. I like him. Ram. Ram did great. He did everything yeah. he needed to do. The playmaker. I think, unfortunately, my turn would be fairly boring, I think. I'm not sure if it's the right move to attack you right now. One, two, three. It's not close enough. 
I can only move three. I can do a melee, I can do a ranged attack, but I won't be able to heal Beastman, right? If, just correct me if I'm wrong, Michael. If I'm over here, I can't heal Beastman with whatever I get, right? Uh, for the life siphon? Yeah. Uh, yes, it's uh, any one uh, Skelter or one ally within four spaces heals one. So, so he, I could so, heal him? Yes, because he is so within I'm... four spaces of Skeletor. Perfect. So I will do that. So I'm going to go ahead and move uh -oh. over here, and then I'm going to attack Man at Arms. Uh, we're going to go ahead and attack Man at Arms with Life Siphon, where I'm going to roll five dice. So I'm going to be spending two of my basic things. Uh, now, the boosts, I believe, are are done before rolling. So I'm going to do attack. Uh, no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. This is not going to KO you. Five dice, your health right now. Your health is seven. seven. Yeah, I'm not going to KO you. KO you. Normally so in the in the property, it's he that's getting life siphoned. I feel like uh, this is going to be very terrifying for a <laughs> cool little man at arms. So we're going to go ahead and roll <laughs> those five dice against you. Oh, boy. Okay. Because then I could hopefully. You're looking for targets? I'm looking for targets. Oh. Uh, three targets. That's going to be three damage against man at arms and also three health up to uh, beast. Nice. No. And how. Mm. Un okay. So then I drop down from seven. Six, five, four on the tracker board yes. here. I like that shift. I'm happy oh, with that turn. Oh. Okay, that's mm. going to be a wrap there. All right. Feel the wrath of skeletal man at arms. All right. Man at arms, take your turn. Well, then, I do get two power. I, oh man, I like think I, 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 I thought what we were going to be able to do was just take three damage and go mm -hmm. get that objective, but no way. Well, and you have, that's what he was thinking. You have more, uh, you have more victims to attack as well. So, so I'm wondering, um, you know, your input, Jesse, it sounds like you're rooting for one of the teams. It sounds no. like you're rooting for Alex and the robots. No, I'm soundly rooting against both Jan and Alex. Well, I can just plant my feet here and start blasting, <laughs> or I could shoot at yours and free you up to move over here. Um, so but I can started blasting. Remember that I have my throw. My oh, so you, could, so you could possibly throw this character how far? Well, not, two spaces. Uh, yeah. Oh, that, so you could throw him at this guy. So I, I could. could. Yeah, you're right. You'd have so, to spend two energy, which I'll take. Thank you. I think uh, maybe I'll start by shooting these guys near me. Then I'll work my way from left to right. And, oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. So uh, good. this is a good question. I'm pushing the enemy. I'm not throwing them. So in order for me to push them all the way there, I would have it would have to be one, two, you. three, four spaces. I know push does ignore like terrain and things like that. So you could actually just go like where the rock oh. is over one of the space there. Oh, really? Oh, okay, cool. Yes. But it would still not reach then, right? It only, it's only no, range. One, it would it would reach right here, and I could take out both of these guys. Or if you did want to take out this guy, I could yep. then push this guy onto Skeletor. Oh well, let's do that. I'm gonna. Calmly... And another thing, wait, 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 another thing that we could do, another thing that we could do is the following: if you leave both of these spaces open and this guy, I could just run through this. Let's see, one, two, three. Oh no, I wouldn't be able to make it. No, ignore that. Okay. Well, I'm gonna free you up first, so. After having my my life siphoned from me, agonizingly <laughs> from this horribly evil Skeletor, I'm gonna turn around calmly and shoot at the character by He-Man <laughs> to make sure that reinforcements can get here. Healthy. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off with a regular basic attack, um, with uh, not my not my bonus action, just my standard attack action. So I have my four dice over here. I'm gonna roll, and I'm shooting at the uh, hover robot by He-Man. He so prefers to go by the local baker. The local baker. So <laughs> let's see what we got. Oh, yes! yes! Oh my Killed gosh. It. Okay. Killed it. Good job. And so that gives me one more power. So he's okay, so who's that? Which one's that? Okay. Yep. Perfect. Uh, now I could spend two power and just move you right next to me. Would that help? Because. Uh, so again, you would have to assign that power to this ability. Mm -hmm. to use yep. Oh, I didn't do that. Okay. So well, guess you what? Can, I... You can just change it, right? No. Can I just do that one power? Because you just grabbed it. That one you just gained. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that all right? You just gained. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna put one. So I'll start. I don't have enough there. So I'll, I'll uh, as my next, I'll do, I'll do another action instead of using my bonus action. Maybe I'll get some more power. So I'm gonna shoot then at the, uh, this one up here by the doorway. Okay. And so that one's four tiny dice. Timmy. Tiny Timmy. Oh no. Oh yeah. no. <laughs> He's the one that wanted the pebbles. He came down to see if his teacher had brought them back. Well, no, he's actually a new robot from the factory. We named him after Timmy just to make him you, feel better. Yeah, exactly. I'm the getting confused. Is, <laughs> is the orphanage filled with robots? 
That's so, it. Uh, I'll donate his scrap metal for uh, from charitable cause or something. So Jen, are you know? saying are you saying that that in orphanage th there shouldn't be an established orphanage for lonely uh, orphaned robots who mm -hmm. lost what? their parents to the to the to the mill and factory of time and corrosion? Are you, you mean, saying you that mean the right now? Really? You mean the factory is their parents? Because if these orphanages are for robots, that completely no, changes Jan, the narrative. No, Jan. If the factory, if the factory was their parents, they wouldn't be orphans. The, you, they could have shut down the factory, Jesse. He may end up being fine. Let's see what happens. He, it may <laughs> be all for now. Though, like the, again, the He-Man reboot went in a really weird direction. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna roll these four. Come on. Yes! All right. Oh, well, you, oh wait, yes. not enough yes. to kill it, though. Two. Yes, yes, armor. it is. Yeah, two. yeah, you killed it. You killed it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, yeah. Plus one from the critical. I enjoyed that loud cheer, confusion, not quite sure if the Ooh. cheer was worth it, and then double down on the cheer. There we go. Because he also gave the additional power he needed. All right, so then. Me, I, I would also like to specify it was not killed. It was unalived. Okay, unalived. At the very worst. Right. It was unalived. It was a, a That stun, reminds a me of ray. Doom Eternal. What is it? The Oh, the mortally challenged. There it is. All right, so then I'm going to spend the... these two to move you up, Jan. I'm going to well, pass these you. over. And uh, you can move now uh, one ally within two spaces. You can move two space, and you gain a power. Oh, yes. So yes, yes, yes. Come up and get ready one. to do battle with. And that's my bonus action. So I shot twice. Did, did you give me the power? I uh, Sorry, I just put it over here. OK, perfect. And then so I what... shot twice. And then I use my uh, tactical reposition ability to, to move you on, give you the chance to move. Uh, I can't end my turn on on a space, like on a character space, unfortunately. Uh, so I guess I will end up just moving because if I could have gotten in here, I would have definitely done that, yeah. but I can't. Okay, cool. Yes, this is working right. out. So here's the question. Do you want to take another bonus action <laughs> to shoot at another I, thing? I think I can only do one <laughs> bonus action, right? You can do each bonus action once per activation. OK, so that was mine for this activation. No, no, no. Again, you can do each bonus action once. It's not limited oh. to one bonus oh, then action. I, let's, I guess we're going to power up the controller. I'm going to put it over <laughs> here for now just so I don't forget. And I'll uh, take another shot. Uh, I'm going to go at, at this guy here. Michael, I have a question. When does Alex get to use the bottom row of his power? Those when effects that... come into play when he does his strat, uh, his controller activation. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. Okay, so that so drawing his to... cards, spawning extra minions, commanding, those are all done during that controller activation. Okay. All right, so, so I'll take a on the next control activation. Yeah, empower is the one exception there that's used uh, when as attack and defense. Moves. Let's see. I'm going to clear the doorway, I guess, with this one. Unless, yeah, yeah, I think I should do that. Uh, or do you want me to clear could... a path for you to move? You could walk up. No, because like ideally, we want to start my turn with attacking something. So you mm -hmm. could either target this guy or that guy, whichever you prefer. And you well, can Jan, throw him however if he far had you done want. His, if he had done his bonus action before you moved up, you could have actually moved to this uh, next space. Oh, gotcha. So oh, Because you get to move, get to move yeah. too. Yep, gotcha. that's true. All right, well, there's a, a, something to learn for my next turn then. All right, so I'm going to roll these shots. I'm going to shoot the middle one here. So rolling the dice. Oh, nice. yes. So far, so good. Okay. Yep, Ooh. clean. Yeah. Very shooty. Oh, my gosh, dude. You have just done so well. <laughs> oh, it's, I it's, almost, I it's almost as if Jan has equally bad luck. It's, you know. It's, it, it's, it's, <laughs> balance everything balances in the game, yeah. Now I'm scared of how powerful uh, the yeah, forces oh, of evil have become, but we'll see. <laughs> That's for other people's turns to worry about. We don't have to worry until the next round at That's least. True. Okay, is it my turn? Yes, it is. Excellent. We're going to go ahead and use Evil Lynn. Evil Lynn's going to start by gaining two power. Uh, not that she's going to do anything with it at all. She's not that kind of person. Uh, she's going to go ahead and go one, two, three. Oh, gosh. Uh -oh. He reaches one, us. One, two, yeah, I think we're going to go one, and she's got scary two, stuff. three, like so. Uh, it's going to be Evil Lynn over there. Oh, no. Um, actually, could you yep. go one, two, three? I see bad like things now that I'm reading his card. Yep. Okay, yes, you should oh. read her card. Oh, no. Uh, she is going to go ahead, and she's going to start with, uh, what's it called? Uh, dark Magics. Nope, okay. nope, wrong one. Uh, she's going to do Mind Control. 
Okay, oh, this stop deals it. any wound, perform a move action with that enemy. We're also going to boost it so I can go ahead and attack a uh, targeting ally. So I'm spending three of my cubes to both take the attack and to boost it all at the same time. Uh, that was her first action. Um, interesting. Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. I like that. Okay, oh, great. No. Then uh, we're going to go ahead and roll three dice. Sadly, only three dice because that does mean that I have a decent chance of not getting any hits. We are targeting man at arms. Now, just correct me if I'm wrong, I can't target He-Man, right? Because of the rocks, or can okay. I? The rocks, do, the rocks do block line of sight there, so you would go, yeah, it's closest, closest, nah, closest space to closest space, it would go through the rocks. So unfortunately okay. not. Cool, so we're gonna go ahead and we're oh. gonna roll targeting the, uh, what's it called, person. It deals and we them. get one hit, fortunately. Oh which is still enough. Oh. So that's going to be, I'm going to generate a power and I deal one wound to Man at Arms. It drops me down to three. Yep. And then Man at Arms is going to go ahead and for a move action going one, two, three. Actually, let's go back all the way. One, two. Yeah, one, two, three is <laughs> over here. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Um, and then now can I target He-Man through here or this is still through the rocks? That's good enough. Uh, so that there would across. be through the rocks, unfortunately. Still through the rocks. So even halfway across is through the rocks. Okay. Oh, no, I'm sorry. The space you were in, no, that's fine, because you okay. can trace around the rocks there. Perfect. I want to avoid him being able I to get a robot. I had a so, bad angle here on TPS. Michael, just, uh, just a question for clarification, because I am curious. This is 1-2. This is 1-2. This is 1-2. There is a version here. Three out of, or two out of three of them go through the rocks, but there is one that is technically the same distance, not through the rocks. Yep. In that case, you can, if there's ever a choice there, you can pick which one to do. Okay, uh, so then I, so then I time, would attack with He-Man just for the logic of I want a stronger yeah. attack. Very seldomly yeah. is anything going to be blocking attacks on here, okay? Again, the line of sight is purposely made Perfect. very simple here, and range is a powerful thing to make up for the weaker shots here. Although Man-in-Arms has been no means showing that off, as he's just been sniping every single thing he's been coming So, across. So Let's in that see... situation, that, that situation, because there was one viable path that was not any, any longer than the other viable paths he could have targeted. Yeah. Correct. So then I would yes. have gone okay. with He-Man, okay. which means uh, Man at Arms goes up one, He-Man goes down one, and then He-Man is going to be doing a three dice melee attack against Man at Arms. Oh dear. Which we're okay. going to roll. Okay. I was just at all speech about how I wasn't running away too, and now. Oh, and so then that okay. does that. What happens to that energy? I Do get I... that power, right? Well, who, no, who? Jet? What happens to the power? It is an attack action in all ways, shape, and form. So it does. Uh, it does generate that power. Okay, so He-Man generates the power. Yeah. Uh. It goes okay. to He-Man, or does it go to... Oh, yeah, it oh, does. Okay, yeah. Okay, and Man at Arms goes down one health, So, and I believe that is going to be Evil Lin's action. I would actually so like get this right on, on that, by the way, just for clarification. Um, that ability we actually had updated, so it doesn't generate uh, power off of that attack, but the version asset that we have here doesn't state that, so we're playing it as well. Okay, cool. Mm. Let, let me just clarify, though. The only effective thing that He-Man has done so far is attack <laughs> his own ally to generate power. I've only had a single turn, Jesse. Oh, okay. No, no. Cool. I just wanted to clarify that point. In that... my mind, the tactical group is like, come on up here, He-Man. Come on up. And he walks up and then, cow. <laughs> <laughs> that is going to be Evelyn's turn, and uh, we are done. This is why I never liked Evelyn. She's evil. Evelyn. <laughs> Oh, it's indomitable name. is an action. That's unfortunate. Who's next? It Let's is... see. Oh, it is He-Man. He okay. Okay, everybody. So question. Um, since I am Spr Sprinkle's Meat Shield, should I sacrifice myself to go get uh, that initiative token? I'm 100% uh, happy to do that. I want to I wanna clarify something there. If you look, Indomitable is a bonus action, not an action. And, oh, it is? Okay. So perfect. you can heal two and take a wound? Is oh. that? Oh. Just noting that it doesn't take up one of your two actions for the turn. Perfect. Okay. That's actually very important. Thank you so much, Michael. Uh, yeah. So, guys, do we want to do that? Do I want to put myself to so that Alex can 100% KO me, but we secure um, at one of the objectives? I say we get that objective. And it would dump, it would bump us all up a, a skill, too, right? A skill. Correct. Yep. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do that. So I wanted to, so here's the question. Do I go here 
Because I my, my feeling is that depending on how I arrange this, Alex will 100% either take out just me or both mm -hmm. me and man-at-arms. So I'm trying to see if there's a way that I can prevent that. I don't think there is. So, And, and yes. what happens if someone gets KO'd since nobody gets killed in He-Man? If you get KO'd, aside from in this scenario and going toward the objectives, when you are mm -hmm. KO'd, uh, your next <clears throat> turn, you're going to have to spend an action recovering, which is going to take away an action recovery. Mm -hmm. So KOing is not, for, that's for the heroes. If a villain is KO'd, they are taken out and they will respawn on the uh, the controller spawn. Points. So I don't feel like getting KO'd is like the end of the world here. It is a setback, but it it's going to be something that happens fairly often in the game. So don't feel bad, you know, if you get knocked out. Players will get knocked out and recover fairly often in the game. Hmm. So what do you all think? Which one of these should I take? Because I can take any of them. I, I think this one here. Yeah. That's, that's my goal. That's my pick. Okay. We do know that Alex could potentially take both He-Man and Man-at-Arms uh, if I go here, right? Like, potentially. Yeah. I'm not saying he will. I'm saying he could. And and uh, his power board, so he hasn't been powering up. Uh, mm -hmm. What's the movement one? Does he have a movement one? Yeah, he has command. everything. There's one power on command, so next turn he will probably be able to do a, a free move. Well, if I'm, I, yeah, I'm go thinking, ahead. I'm thinking the reason this one here is because he's bumped up uh, Beastman's health up to eight. So I think you know using an escape move, then you know he can still get to this one mm -hmm. fairly fairly quickly. Um, but if, here's the thing. If once we get either of these, Shira's gonna take the other one, so he can't take that that point anymore. Like it's done. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So we're worried more about our KOs than anything else. Mm -hmm. Shira, what do you think? What do you think would be the best the best route here? To go for objectives or to get KO'd? No, I mean or... like out of out of these two, <laughs> which one do you feel is the better one? Um, I was going to make my way towards this middle one as soon as I pick up the one I'm on. And if I pick up the one I'm on, I get a full teleport ability of the yellow ability, which might allow me to actually make it there. Okay, I oh. see that. Oh, wait, she what? Could also, she could also pick up the one she's on and move just towards the exit slash entrance to see who rushes towards the gate. Mm -hmm. What's your teleport yeah, I mean, ability? I... Oh, here. I will be getting three activation cubes, which can I designate it to an empty spot that doesn't have an ability yet in anticipation for the ability? Unfortunately not. Mm. So I'd have to wait till well, next then, turn. So then I'll probably go around and Oh no, because if He-Man if hang out he -Man grabs oh. it, then well, you'll you have grab it. it, then yeah. <laughs> okay. So okay. so okay, so with all grab that the said, grab mm -hmm. this one back here. Okay. Yeah, that's. Sorry, that's I don't know how I to do the do. fancy arrows. How do you do those fancy Weapon. arrows? Uh, tab. 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 Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. So, oh, do I? Well, how much health do I have? I have four health. Oh, I don't want to give Alex more power. <laughs> you... oh. How do I get them to go away? Do they just go away on their own? Yes. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So I'm gonna do a move action. So one, I get one damage. Two, and three. Actually, I'm just gonna, I think this is probably the best spot. Let's see, one, two, uh, it's the same thing. Uh, yeah, so I'll do I'll do this here. And uh, for my second action, I will interact with that, pretty much securing our win on that front. Secure um, and escalation happens. Everyone gets yeah. a yellow skill of their choice and controller, you have another upgrade. I'm gonna spawn the uh, reserves where I can activate even more minions every turn. Yeah, so so Ooh. that's what I was going to mention. Um, if Alex plays controller on the first round, he's going to be able to spawn minions in these directions. And Michael, this was the question I wanted to ask. Is he able to inter um, activate spawned minions on his turn? So if you see the uh, the player aid right there, the order of activations on that turn is you activate all the minions, and then he activates his player powers. Uh... Now, his reserves ability that he did just upgrade now has the effect to start activating minions where previously it did not for for a bunch of power okay mm. it's still no, one as thing. also, also so noting as people there, select their things make sure we read over them as well sorry michael yes but it is also important to note there that those effects are not they're not bonus actions or anything like that and they're not limited so because he has unlocked that ability now if he spends four power he could activate two minions 
or he can spend mm. five power, for example, to spawn two and then actually one of them, or whatever combination thereof. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Okay. What are people selecting? Oof. I selected my teleport as I was mentioning. Although okay, what does I don't that know do? if it's, I'm actually second down. Eh, go to someone else because because someone had obtained another objective, I might not need to rush it. You so might I not. might. Let me see what the other side is. Well, Ram Man is going to select Taunt, and Taunt allows him for a bonus action. He can pull all enemies within four spaces up to three spaces towards him. Nice. Nice. Very nice. I'm still going to go with the teleport. I took a look at the other side. Teleport. For one dice, for one um, cube, I can move Orko or one ally within two spaces, up to two spaces. They ignore escape damage and terrain pen hmm. penalties. If I add a second uh, cube, then I can move an additional two spaces. And if I add an additional cube, it becomes a bonus action. That doesn't even count. Wow, that's awesome. So I'll Man hang out in my corner back there and Man -at -Arms wait for the people. Man at Arms is going to go with his uh, stun beam. I'm going to see if I can go with something a little less power intensive here. <laughs> and uh, it lets me then make a three melee attack slash range attack. So I guess I can choose between the two. Is that how that works? That mm -hmm. is correct. And then for each success, the target loses one power. For each power they can't lose, they suffer a wound. And I can boost that for one and enemies wounded by this attack become dazed. And mm. dazed, characters don't get armor and they move negative one space anytime they move. During their activation, a dazed character may pay one power to stop being dazed. So maybe we can kind of slow down their their assault running forward. Mm. Very nice. And then uh, Mr. E-Man. Okay, so me next, I'm gonna go with, the, I, I had something similar actually. So I had Mighty Leap and if I ended my, my, my oh. action, this action next to another character, it would have been days. However, I think I'm going with Deflect, which basically just makes me into much more of a tank powerhouse. And I make Alex scared of to trying to tackle me again. Defense boost. For roll three dice, and for each sword, gain a shield. And for each um, castle, of, castle of Great Skull, uh, gain another shield. And the attacker suffers one wound as well. So, so I'm what basically my plan is to now be the defense, the defense we need for Alex's only achievable objective at this point. Sounds good. Well, he, could still he could also murder you. No, yeah. He could still KO all of us. It, it's, it's, still an it need, it's still two. It's still two. Now he needs to get to the side of C and he needs to all to KO all of us. That's what I meant. He has no other options now. Well, oh, to no? specify, he has to KO you four times, not every one of you once. Oh, that doesn't make yeah. me feel much better. <laughs> That's just, about just, for, to just for I semantics. Get <laughs> Again. Oh, no. Yeah, all okay. he has to do is kill is kill uh, Shira or Man-at-Arms four times, Jan. It doesn't have to be you. No, I, I, it's 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 an like aggregate, right? And so what I mean is that yeah. Alex's only, achievable, uh, only objectives right now are going to be deliver and take us out. So making mm -hmm. both have... of those more difficult, I think, is probably the best move. You have yes, to accomplish th two out of three objectives, or all three, or it's two. This first one to accomplish two of the three is going to win this scenario. Mm -hmm. He's going to get. Right. We got to worry about him zipping away now, though. So no, no we... zipping, no zipping. All, all right, you have next... to do, all you all have to do, is take out the right character. Have we considered? Yeah, have we considered which one is the the um, one carrying the objective? I think it's so, evil. I think it's Skeletor. I... Do you think? I'm guessing Skeletor because of the armor, too. In the meantime, is it my turn? No, yes. we need to go through Ram Man's <laughs> ability. To whose ability? Oh, we did. We went I through did. them all. Oh, okay. Okay, my yeah. turn. I am flipping, and it is going to be Beastman who's going to grab three cubes of activation fun. Mm. Uh, then we're going to go ahead, and let me grab this properly. Uh, it's going to be there. Let me just take a look at my abilities. Michael, uh, have you thought okay. about renaming the cubes to cubes of activation fun? Oh wait, yeah. why, the, why are there extra cubes there? Why are there? Oh. You you added three more. There should be. I didn't have Did two you... before. Did no, I? it's when you grab. It's when you grab that last one. You grab three on the stack. Oh, whoops! Line. I should only have three. It was actually okay. kind of a neat little balancing where like two. Yeah, just you balance on cool. grab three grab. on top. Like, oh. In any case, we're gonna start by smashing Ram Man in the face. We're gonna use Claw Slash and activate Attack Boost. So I'm gonna get double successes on the skull, and oh. I re-roll any dice. You can imagine that is oh. going to be oh, a fun. Just, just for the record, I'm going to be doing that twice in a row, just so we're very clear. <laughs> oh, no. So we're going to go ahead and smash you in the face. 
and we have one, two, three, four. Wait, you I... actually did it? Well, yeah, I just did it right there. You hit all three, <laughs> all four. All wow. four. Yeah, I mean, I kind He's of wanted angry. the other thingy, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that as good enough, and I will deal uh, two damage to Ram Man. So that that armor comes into effect there, then. Yes, huh? sadly. Ram Man is the, no, uh, the most armored character in the game, so dazing him is a good counter strategy. Yeah, or yeah, just yeah. you know, or just you know, beeping through his armor. Then we're going to do the exact same thing again, spending another one to again boost it, so I can reroll failures. This oh time, I'm going God. for the kill. And we're going to roll, and we have oh, beautiful. Oh, 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 what? Oh my gosh, uh, Ram Man, you can go by. You're dead. Yeah, I'm I have just going to comment energy. right now to remind myself to cut to the scene of Alex ah, kissing ah. into midair. That oh, was no. no. Hang on one second here. I want to point out your ability allows you to convert uh, the graceful result into plus two successes. That's yes. replacing the normal effect of one success and one power. Gotcha. So I wouldn't actually get two power. Let me just do some quick math. So I need a total of six damage, which means I need all of that. So I will not take any power. I will yeah. happily do all six so that he's dead. Is that a custom commercial? KO. <laughs> One KO. Oh, no. Where does and he... this is the commercial cut, right? <laughs> now, where do we track how many kills I have? Now, we also have oh, these tokens here. over here directly for catch, uh, tracking that. So the controller gets one toward their objective here. One of many. Yeah, and then uh -oh. he's, he has a few in line. This is going to be a pivotal next turn here. <laughs> okay, I'm glad you guys got those other things because you didn't need them. Uh, that's my where turn. Does he, where does he restart then? So he is KO'd right here. Uh, on his turn, when he recovers, oh. he will come back here, but it does take an action out. Gotcha. Oh. Gotcha. I'm liking this. Well, I misunderstood here. that. Cool. Mm. All right. I believe it is my turn. Ah, oh, save right. us, all crow. Oh, don't uh, we? Uh, wait, or... don't we have escalation? Yes, a character Why? was KO'd, so it does escalate. Oh, mm. interesting. And just in general, to mention this as well, escalation will usually cap out roughly around like the halfway point throughout the game on average. So I don't think that's going to be necessarily a oh the game's about to end when escalation happens. Escalation okay. again, you're usually going to lock all three abilities about the halfway point in those scenarios. Hmm. I am interacting with the token that I'm standing on top of. I have no power to lift it, though. Can someone take it off the board for me? Shira, I gave you your three cubes are right here on your board. Thank you. I So noting, that. speaking of escalation, uh, we boom, just there hit our go. last point right there. So, yeah. so before we do that, Shira does need to allocate her cubes, right? I was correct. allocating yes. them right yeah. here. On to okay, teleport. and as people make selections on what they're going to do, let me know uh, what you're upgrading. Tough choices. Whoa. Wow, that's crazy. But I also have this. I know. I need to choose <laughs> the power. Oh command. man, what's your? Oh my gosh. Yeah, <laughs> I hate difficult choices. Michael, are these are these the sounds that you'd like to be hearing as people look <laughs> nice. at the last section of powers uh, they have? It's, it's can, fun to can see. Can I say what mine is? Can I say what mine is? I have a magic wand. Orko gains plus <laughs> one QBs. Each time he activates, after Orko rolls any die, I may pay one QB from this skill to reroll that die or two QBs to change that die to any face. Wow, that's awesome. So, I'm really sad I, that now that we, I wonder if there's time to change into being called QBs. <laughs> <laughs> I know we've had a few suggestions this game, but QBs has been my favorite so far. Sounds I'm really excited. I'm excited to do it with my endless hat to pair those two, so then I can choose what I'm going to use. Oh, wow! So I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna sidetrack right here to mention that is actually a, a thing in like the the original series and everything. Is that Orko? He doesn't he can't control his magics that well at all, except if he ever gains control of his magic wand, which is one of the most powerfully like stupid relics on the planet. Which, as you see here, all of a sudden Orko's chaos, chaotic magics, and everything become much more controllable now that he has his magic wand. <laughs> That's so cool. You got that theme I like in there. It. Yeah. So awesome. All right. So that was just me taking my first activation. Where wait, wait where wait, did we I... need to go we need to go through I can't everyone move else's myself. upgrades though. Yeah, I sure. can't uh, move you myself. Were you were locked, but we need to go through everyone else's upgrades. So let's start let's start Thank here with you. uh Ram Man. Um, Ram Man gained hot headed uh, for mm -hmm. a power. He can do a bonus action after Ram Man or an adjacent ally is attacked. Make one attack on the attacker, paying any power cost. Yes, nice. fantastic. Uh, Man at Arms. Man at Arms has enhanced gear, so he's all about making tech stuff. And so now I can use any of these following boosts on himself or an ally within four spaces. 
That's and so nice. for one power, it's a long list wow. here. <laughs> one power plus two dice to attack. Uh, two power attack boost of plus three dice. Defense boost, gain armor one for one power, and then two power to get plus two armor. So it can really start buffing people. Wow. Hey, man. So, okay, here's the thing. Yes. Um, for all the people watching, I know what the tactical decision was because I'm aware that Alex has a bunch of power under his reserves. So he's going to be spawning a bunch of minions. And <clears throat> my alternate for He-Man is I have the power, which all adjacent enemies suffer one wound. So I could literally destroy all of Alex's minions in a single And turn. you didn't I've, take I, that. I've never heard someone spend so much time explaining how bad they are at games. Uh, that's not the point, Alex. How can I not choose the battle cast? Yes, this is the correct choice. <laughs> it's ironic. Yeah, the I... only time you spoke longer than this in this game is after you missed an entire attack roll. You're very oh good at telling God. people how bad you are. <laughs> Alex, leave me alone. I wanted Jan, to justify Jan, my reasoning for choosing the battle cat. What does the, the battle, cat. battle cat do, Jan? Tell me, buddy. So he adds an additional armor, and I now have Rending Claws, which adds a, one more dice to my normal attack pool. And I can split that into two enemies. As a bonus Love action, it. I can do another Rending Claw attack, which lets me attack two other enemies. So yeah, I won't kill everything around me, but I will kill most things around That's me. That's fantastic. And you have armor now. That's awesome. Yes, exactly. And oh, I can nice. just add that to my deflect. So there is strategy. I'm just saying the probable the best move was the other one. Either way. Alex, yes. you seem to have taken in power. I did take Empower uh, because I now my Empower basically strengthened my both my attacking and defensing when my minions attack, when my characters or minions attack or are attacked. My attack boost is going to be two dice instead of one. And my defense boost now results in the, you guys oh. all losing health when you suffer, when you miss. You suffer a wound when you miss. Nice. All right. Oh, man. Shira, <laughs> continue, continue your turn. Wow. Well, clarification, do we have to get the fourth objective or just having three out of five? Satisfied yeah. Michael. Three out of five was plenty. Now, so Michael, does the, does the fourth objective even stay on the board? No, nope. it's not. Out of existence. Oh, cool. All right. So I, I'll i ask my teammates, where should I end up? Should I just move back in that corner? I think well, we I was actually you up thinking there. of going over here. Mm -hmm. like, Any of those two would work. All right. One, two, three. So then one, two, three. So basically, Shira, you're our last bastion of defense at this point. Or just don't just die. Standing Do there. your jobs. Don't die <laughs> and give him that win. What do we but have yes. to watch? We have to watch out for his movement, right? His command. I have no so, talking about. So Man at arms a, is dying on his next turn. One, two, yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. He can only get to there. The max he could run is nine. Then. I'm not trying to run. I'm going to stop. Oh, that's you. true. All right. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, fine. We're done. Let's go ahead and reset for the next round. Oh, boy. God. And now just, commercial hey, break, uh, Michael. Sorry, guys. I need to make one quick check right here because uh, there was one thing here that I want to check in like, the current rule set that we were doing um, is basically what happens to the uh, the player characters because we had played um, where they, they fall down on the spot and another one where they respawn back over here. And I just need to verify which one is the current one because we've been flipping back and forth between those. Mm. Cool. This is fun. Ah, oh, Shira, I'm going to leave your masterful tactical abilities to choose where I go. I really don't know where I would be best employed at. Does anyone have any preferences over here? I think there's a high chance of me getting KO'd early and probably so, being the so target one, for that. One second. As uh, Michael double checks, let's okay, not yep, move they any down on the spot. Yep, so it's fine. Okay. We're good. Okay, so we'll... All right, now you can continue moving things. All right, um, Alex, do you want to put your people out so then we can talk I'm over the table? I'm in the middle of thinking, so. Yeah, oh, Shira, it takes I'm you a long my... time to think. Mm, <laughs> I'm yes, going to leave my destiny yes. in your hands. I don't know when Perfect. I would be a pro like good for me to activate. Well, Ram Man can't do anything. He's resting yeah. the entire next turn. So, hmm, hmm, hmm. and we've we'll got keep, that going on. Keep his energy? Like, you know, is it just a stockpile yeah, so you, phase? You, you keep everything. You On his next turn, he's going to lose one action to recover, but he still has his other action or whatever bonus action is past that. Can he be attacked while he's recovering? Once you're down like this, you're you're ignored for all gameplay purposes. Okay. If, so you can uh, move well, through them. You can do whatever. 
If one right. were to possibly soon be being KO'd, will I have any <laughs> other adverse effects like losing the power I have or... or no, you'll be you closer know. to making your team lose the game. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hopefully it doesn't seal, take my life to heal his own guys. That, that's the worst then. I'm actively dying and helping you win. Um, I never, why didn't I activate my Indomitable? I wanted to activate that last turn. Uh, oh, it's a, well, hmm. I couldn't tell you why you didn't. But yeah, it's a bonus action, right? So you'll be able to do it. The only reason I think I didn't want to do it is because I didn't want to give Alex more power. Yeah. On yeah. his turn. Uh, Michael, while we're on this commercial break, can you recap what's happened so far? Previously on Masters of the Universe. Do you, mean, do you want something like I'm that? I'm done, by the <laughs> way. I'm locked in. Sorry. Oh, I yeah, just, no, I just moving... enjoyed your narrative to start, with, to start with. Sure. I actually like that as well when you're doing it. That was my goal. <laughs> Previously on Masters of the Universe, we join our eclectic heroes here as they fight against Skeletor and his forces trying to kit, uh, trying to escort a relic across the board. He-Man has heroically called Battle Cat in for reinforcement. Meanwhile, Ram Man has fallen to the might of Beast Man and his horde of Shadow Beasts. Orko is contributing something over on this side of the battlefield. <laughs> Thank you! The, I appreciate that. And the combined that. onslaught of Evil Lin and Skeletor is fighting against the heroic uh, bastion that is Men at Arms. Yes, I like it. Honestly, I, that, great that, TV. This, that might be the, I need you uh, recapping. Can we have a stretch goal like I don't know, twelve million dollars or something for you to recap every person, everybody, everybody's yes. personal gameplay. Uh, funny enough, during the last live stream we did, I did make the agreement that for our ten million dollar stretch goal, I would do a uh, Skeletor uh, singing album. <laughs> <laughs> um, are we good to go on the track? Should I start flipping? Oh, we're good to go. I think I am. Does everyone okay. want to take a look at what oh, I did? Oops. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Want to take a look? Just make yeah, sure. go. All right. Go. Uh, I grabbed a cube for Evil Lin, a QB. I'm driving a QB for Evil Lin. <laughs> uh, Evil Lin's going to start with an attack Sticks. against, uh, what's his name? Against uh, my arms. What's his name? You've been beating me up this whole time. We're going to you use know. mind control. Man, so it's going to be three dice against mind control. That's going to be that one over there. That's one, two, three. Uh, like so. Give me one second. Let me just look at my cards. Cool. Okay, I don't even know your perfect. name. I need and then we're going to go like ahead that. and attack <laughs> with three dice, hoping to do at least one damage. Where did my dice go? They're over here. I'm going to grab them again to go over here. Magneto helmets instead. And I'm going to roll them. Yep. Let's see if he secures. Ah. Oh, a hit. Man at Arms goes down by one. Yeah. I'm going to go down by one. And Man at Arms is going to go ahead and move yep. and attack. So we're going Opening to go up one, the way for your controller two, card. three. Like mm -hmm. so. Oh no. And then we're going to smack you in the face with uh four dice, I believe. Four dice against um He Man. Yep, and then your controller comes in and then attacks. Well let's both let's of resolve us. one thing at a time. Whoa. Oh, no. okay. okay. So good for you with the current rules. You'll go ahead and get two energy. So lucky you. But you will will deal two wounds to He Man. Uh, yep. He Man actually has an armor now because of Battle Cat. Oh, oh that's one true. Yes. Mm, that's unfortunate. Thank okay. you, Michael, for reminding me. Not really. Mm. Not Theoretically, really. Theoretically, you could have also deflected it and potentially. Oh yeah, no! If I, had, if I had any there. <laughs> oh, sorry. You're right, right. There's no power allocated there. And the My problem bad. is, I am one away. Oh, I'm one away. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, I guess I'll move. How to tactically position myself? I want to kind of protect my robots. Um, might be the way to go. Do I just protect my robots? One, two, three. I like the idea of it, but I don't want her to get hit. So maybe I use my robots to protect me. One. The only two, reason Evil Lynn and Skeletor are here is to protect the innocent robots that have been accosted okay. by this team of yeah. vagabonds. Evil Lynn is not going to take that opening. She's going to make you work for it. Very cool. The artist is a charitable donation. Oh. It's a big check for. Evil Lynn is done. <laughs> Did you play me first, Shira, by any chance? No. Oh! Ram Man. Well, there we go. Okay, let's see how it goes. Ram Man, save us! So he will get He's... his one power, and then his first gets... action will be to recover himself. Oh, all right. So I'm stuck between do I axe chop with the potential of doing more damage, or do I ram being able to push him? But I would only be pushing him with just one space. I'd end up right next to him. Uh, Man, I, I would do the most I know. damage. 
Yeah, I'm going to axe chop potential to be able to do the most damage. Good um, spend, I'll can spend I, all can, I, can I just say something here? There's a really, really cool play you can do here, but I don't want to speak for you. Uh, but I just want to say that thematically, I think it would be super cool if you did your ram attack to like out here, hitting him away, <laughs> and then using a power to pick up the boulder and hurling oh! at the Skeletor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that Ooh. is kind of crazy. Is that kind of crazy, Len? I, I don't want to speak for you. I just think that that's like, that's cool. Thematically cool. Yeah. Thematically cool. Ooh. I appre I'd appreciate it, honestly. I have all these heal abilities and I haven't been able to use them at all. Oh, he does have heal. Then, <laughs> then you know yeah. what? Let, let, let's do that. Let's do that. So we will we'll spend the two, right? Using that ram ability to move through. He could also just throw the boulder at one. <laughs> hey, I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confused. Is your ram ability uh, action? Oh. That's a good point. You only yeah. have two actions. Correct. You use your first action to, to recover flip. yourself. So oh, that's right. right. You oh. oh. Sorry, yeah, guys. What did you, you think? Michael's yeah. playing the long con <laughs> on the disappointment thing. Why did you so, get KO'd last turn? God, I don't know why. Why are doing cool <laughs> stuff? But so I did, back to the action. But job. I did save the day before, right? You 100% did, 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 bro. All right, so we'll so, do yeah, the axe chop. I'd top. recommend doing the axe chop. We'll do the axe chop. And we will one, two. Is there a third die somewhere? Yeah, over here. Got him for you. All right, nice. Okay. Oh my all right, God. let's see. Please all be gray skulls. Oh, come on. Ugh, only two hits. Two hits. Okay, and that's going to be against Beast, who does not have any armor. He's Is going it? to go down two. He's a tough mm -hmm. boy. Oh, man. And that okay. is my turn, unfortunately. A noble turn. I approve of it. Now I'm going to wait for Beastman's turn. We're going to stomp you to the ground again. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of, controller. Okay, yep, of course. controller. Controller's going to go ahead and go. So first of all, Here minions do activate. So we're going to go one, one, two, three. Yep, yep. And one, one two, two, three. Well, we're, back, two, three we're back because... to back in there. Just yep. Okay. And, and, and see how he's going to knock oh. us both out. Check so it out. I am <laughs> going to get, well, it depends. We, I'm going to start by grabbing a cube, which will go to empower, I think, because oh boy, I think it's the right move. Um, you got empower, two cubes, yeah. Alex. Yeah, you got two. I get two cubes. That's right. They're both going to go to empower even better. Um, or I could do command. Do I care about command? I don't care about command. I'm trying to stomp you to the ground right now. Okay. <laughs> um, I strategy cards. I do want to draw a strategy card. That would be helpful. Powering twice could be very useful, because oh, I like the fact I like the fact that as soon as hey, there's anyone... there's also a cube floating in the middle here. Is this the cube that was used? Oh, to that was chop? a cube. Yes, 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 it was. So I'm gonna take that, and I think that will go towards. I think it's gonna go to empower as well, because I like the fact that He Man, as soon as he attacks me, I'm just gonna do defense boost, and if he misses at all, he dies. <laughs> okay. oh. uh, he man's not gonna be alive my dude You're gonna i know i'm debating whether I, I i am gonna attack him but i'm not gonna spend i'm gonna focus on small little attacks so uh we have uh what's it called um no he man has two health right wait i thought yeah. he man had, i thought he was down to one oh no he's down to two okay fine so i am gonna go ahead and attack he man with this character over here mm -hmm. just rolling two dice we're not gonna do anything fancy really? we're just gonna roll michael before this roll happens for my enhanced sure. gear when do i when can i do that can i do that to boost him now if i wanted to that is, it's a defense boost. So it happens. The order of operations is declare attack, declare mm -hmm. attack boost, declare defense boost, roll dice. Okay. okay. I would give that to two you, dice. I'm Michael. gonna wait. I'm gonna. Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna well, I'll as a say, starting base, so, I'm going to go yeah. ahead and spend one die against man at arms to boost to four dice. So I'm gonna be attacking you with four dice. All right. Yeah, Chase. You, you I'll go use, for those I for yourself. Here you go. So. Pass do the roll, I'll and then you'll them. get the, the power after. <laughs> yeah, okay, so you're doing a defense two. So you get yep. two defense, and I'm rolling, and we're going to go ahead and roll. And one, two hits uh, to your two armor, which means you are totally fine. Nice. Okay. Um, right. Didn't you lose one more here, Alex? Why do you nope. have so? Oh, because, because I took two. Yeah, no. And I took, the, I took the axe chop one. And don't forget I'm gonna that go ahead. there. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm not forgetting. Please. I'm just going to be powering up and powering <laughs> oh, no. left, right, and center. Okay. Uh, Sorry, then, he man. Oh, I'm not done. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to attack with this character against He-Man. For that, mm -hmm. we're just going to do a basic attack. Not really. Um, You know what? I think I will empower it. We're going to go ahead and empower it. So okay. Four dice I was again. so confused. Oh, no. Like, why wouldn't you? Oh, no. uh, just Because I want to use my power left, right, and center. So any other sure. things being committed before I roll? 
I uh, we can't, dude. You're, okay, you're good to go good to kill for me. Him. Good enough for me. That's gonna be death against He Man. No, you missed. Oh no, it is a it's a melee attack. What do you yep. got for armor? I He's have got one armor, he which me. means death man he man is upside down yep. and dead. I advance in that Great track over there. people upside down, Alex. You really enjoy it. Oh, I do. I do. That's okay. If he had attacked you first. We're not done yet. Um, We're not oh, done yet. Oh, because no. now I'm going to go He's ahead. He's going to spawn everyone. No, no, no. I'm going to activate a minion. Oh, no. <laughs> and then I'm going to empower it again. Oh, oh no. Nice. How did you not see that? <laughs> I forgot that he could do that. <laughs> oh, no. I used, you don't have anything left to spend, right? I don't. So we're going to go ahead and roll that. And that's going to be Ooh, dead. Yep. Oh, Ooh. no. Uh, well, we yep. knew he was going to get this, guys. Like, he, okay. he was 100% going to get it. The we had a he cat. Man at arms succumb to the furious I blows of the robot. activate more, but I don't believe that's the right move to do. Uh, lastly, I think I'm going to go ahead and... Um, I like all my things right now. I'm going to go oh. ahead and draw one more strategy card. So I'm going to spend one thingy over here, drawing that's one more nice. strategy card. I think you mean to call it QB? QB, thank you. Thank you, appreciate it. Okay, <laughs> and that's my turn. I am done uh, using the commander. So, Jan, remember, our allies can't see us in here, so we both stand up and we never speak of this again, right? <laughs> this this <laughs> never happened. Man at arms, so, it oh, is your turn. Gotta get too old for this. Uh, get, get two power. With, with one gentle glance in each other's direction, they've committed to a secret for life. Let's see, I guess... <laughs> I guess I'll go with the... Uh, the rapid so that fire. was your that's your mm. first activation and standing and, up and it puts me back at full health then okay so that was my first activation uh so i'm going to uh shoot the robot next to me with a, my action mm -hmm. so that gives me four dice and i'll get ready to fire you turn and see uh he-man has been taken down and yes! there we go <laughs> oh dude you killed it good job and no, I can't Adam, I mean, him he man. Uh, let's get. So you shot. Which one do you kill? This one over here? Uh, the one right. Yeah, next cool. to me. Jason, I got. Man. I got your cube you already, got, bro. Thank you so much. Uh, then I will do a bonus action, and I'm gonna shoot the other robot. Wait, Chase. That's what I was gonna tell you. Okay. We might wanna starve Alex from power. Okay. For Good the rest. idea. Like maybe, maybe I don't know. What? Like, no, what he's he's think? pretty low. Let's not keep feeding. My guy has a lot of power. I've been handing over, so I will hold off then. All right, that will be the that will conclude my turn. So I got up, dusted myself off, poof, blasted the robot. Parts went everywhere. And my turn. Oh, Skeletor. Yep. Skeletor is going to move. Okay. So Skeletor unfortunately did not tactically plan perfectly around something there, but it's okay. We'll go ahead and make the best of it. Uh, Skeletor is going to go ahead and go. Hmm. Skeletor has oh. range. He can do wounds over there. So that's gonna go one, two, three, and then one, two, three. You can move through your friends? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. And oh, Skeletor should be taking uh, two two energy. Is there anything Skeletor can do with his two energy? I don't think so, because I'm going with that direction over there. Uh-oh. Um, yeah, hmm. Skeletor's fine. Now, just the point of clarification, uh, Michael, uh, in terms of if or when a hypothetical character gets over here, <laughs> Do they have to, like, what happens in terms of, like, what happens if this character's on there? Do I have to get rid of that character first? Uh, you have to end, basically, it's like an objective. You have to end your activation adjacent to it while uncontested. On it or, or adjacent to it. On it or adjacent to it while uncontested. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, like, if so Orko is, like, to... yeah, so Orko's KO'd there or whatnot, then it So I'd have to stomp on Orko. I'm okay with that. Okay. Uh, so I'm Orko being there is sort of a big deal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no. Very. Just playing, just playing goalie. I don't, I don't know how I feel about that sentence of Orko being there is a big deal. That feels <laughs> weird. Okay, I am done with my turn. All righty, then the next oh, player. Speaking of Orko. Nope. Okay. I still have a feeling it's Evil Lin for whatever reason. I could be totally wrong, but... It is Evil Lin. So you stand mm -hmm. yourself up. Mm -hmm. And then as, I'm going to do... As Skeletor runs towards the exit, Jen's like, I swear it's Evil Lin. <laughs> Because Alex could be, you know, trying to distract us. I I'm don't know. I'm playing the long game, Jesse. Could be. I don't know. I think it, I think <laughs> it makes sense. I, I predict a uh, like a My mind superior control intellect. Uh oh. Can I? Mm. I could. Okay. Let's do. Do I already have enough? No. Let's do that. 
Yeah, okay, so I'm placing both of my cubes, one of my throw and one of my deflect. Oh, no, but then I would give Alex all these, and I don't want to give Alex any power. I, I was wondering Alex if you forgot about that. Just the power. Mm. Yeah, I'll go ahead and start splitting it up. Okay, so I'm just going to do a basic rending claw. Uh, so four dice. Yay, dead. Nice. Finally, I killed something. <laughs> this is a general <laughs> note. Uh, totally, I wouldn't have done anything in this case. Just general, give me uh, like a second to actually uh, choose to react when you attack. You you activate that after my roll, Alex. No, after no. you declare the attack. Oh, after okay. you declare the attack, yeah. Got it. Got yeah. it. Okay. Again, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have done it in this case, but just give me that second to actually like react. Okay. I would also like it. to clarify that technically that was Battle Cat getting that kill. He meant he still has yet to actually. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, They're no, working no, Michael, together. Michael, you forgot he did punch his friend. <laughs> uh, that's true. That's true. He he did successfully stab Duncan he, in the back. And that, that resulted a, in a knockout it, sooner is or later. It my so. turn. Yes, sir. It I is. believe that's okay. man. We're gonna go ahead and flip Beastman, and uh -oh. Beastman, like promise, is going to stomp somebody in the head. Uh, one, two, and three. Now, I think we're going to go ahead and do my uh, same thing I did last time. I'm just going to go for a double claw slash because it seems like the right move. Except this time, He-Man's down by a wound, so I would be able to re-roll roll one extra dice with that. But that's unnecessary because I have him power. So I'm going to go ahead and basically start with a claw slash, giving up one die for the attack boost and also giving up one die for empower so that I roll two extra dice. So I'm doing a six die attack. <laughs> uh, and castles are going to be two hits, just in case anyone was wondering. Oh boy! And okay. I was, I was wondering. Thank you. And fun note: we you can only go to up to a maximum of six. So Alex Correct. is doing the most ridiculous type of attack in this game. Exactly what I had in mind. Yes. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and roll those, and we have what is that? Uh, Can't death. See it all. One, two, three, four, death. five, six, seven. Wait, that's five, seven. Seven is not enough to kill him. Is it? Almost. He has one health remaining. Wait, what do I want to reroll? It's not worth it. It's not worth it. I mean, it, um, you it know, could it is, actually is. It actually is. I'm going to go ahead and reroll three dice because thinking of attack B, I'm going to have to do another attack anyway, so I may as well go for the reroll and hope for the best. So I'm going to go ahead and roll these three dice. And oh, same end result. So close. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, basically to reduce you down to one health. Not, uh, not him. Not him. Yes. That's the, you, that was, man that was the wishful thinking. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing again. Uh, I don't know if I want to bother paying for the extra empower. I think I'm going to leave empower safe there. But I'm going to go ahead and do this with four dice. You're down to one health, which basically means I need to do three damage. It's it's not going to work out well for me. I'm going to I'm going to like no. I'm going to spend. It. I'm not taking a chance. I would, I'm going to regret it otherwise. But I'm just not willing to take those risks. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go ahead and roll. Are you and spending all your power cubes, Alex? I spent. Yeah, I had three. I had four. Oh. I only spent two. And you're dead. It's I brutal. will choose to not get the extra one there because I'd rather get the power cubes, seeing as I don't need brutal. it. Brutal. And now I believe I've successfully completed the objective. Yeah. Yep. Stomp yeah, of four baddies. Uh, okay. And that's a turn. Yes, it is. All right. Terrible. And as expected, it's all coming down to Orko. <laughs> yes. Orko versus right, every, Skeletor. Every activation, I get a cube that I can place down here in addition Plus three. to the wow. to the three cubes that I'm getting. I am I know, so that, one. That extra cubie that he gets goes anywhere. Not necessarily it's it's there. Oh, but I thought it said I have to I take one from one. the skill. Yes, that's but that things. That's a separate thing. Oh, so I'd have to allocate the cube there if I wanted yep. it to be there. Yep. Okay. Uh, is glowing. I might, <laughs> I might, I might keep it there just to have that dice Flexibility. mediation. Wow, Shira, you're a there. glass All cannon. Right. Oh my gosh, of the best type. Let's see what I want to do. And you so. ignore armor. That's fantastic. Mm, not great. I prefer you not ignore armor. <laughs> range, ranges, ranges four. Correct. Yep. You and you can range. add two. Wow. Oh, <laughs> oh now you could actually be within range. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah, I will add one to boost my range. Oh, oh over I will there. take that. Sure. Thank you. I will assign oh, yeah. a skeleton. I, I found my magic yeah. wand. Oh. I'm targeting that guy. Oh, yeah. All right. Four dice. Okay. Let's see. 
Two. Okay. Two, hit. two. Two hits. Are you doing anything else? One. Mm. How much health do you have over there? Seven. No, I'm leaving it right now. Okay, so I'm going to go down to five. Okay. No, one, Alex. Uh, nope, you I, do, go... I have no armor. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Yes. Yep. And then I'm going to spend another cube and attack you again. From right where I'm Seems standing. reasonable again. And again, I will take that cube. <laughs> oh, oh, bother. I'm assigning that a cube oh. to empower, just to be clear. Okay, and you got one hit, two hits again, but you get an energy back this time. And mm -hmm. again, I'll go down to three. I'm going down to three. It's Anything decent on progress. your magic wand that would help, maybe? If you're... Or are we worried about... He wouldn't, it wouldn't kill him. So okay. Okay. I'm less inclined to do it, and I want to save it over there. Makes I sense. get a cube, but that I can allocate anywhere. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, All no. Right. What's so, no? Michael, question again. Mm -hmm. Alex only has to end his turn on the sea to win. Are you noticing right. that you probably should have made sure to be adjacent to it? Hmm. She I you noticed that. Take back that. I move. noticed that. Oh, having excuse that, me. You might want excuse to take back me. that attack. Well, having said that, Orko can teleport as a bonus action. <gasps> Is it a, it doesn't oh, say bonus. Oh, yes. <laughs> the action, even though it doesn't say bonus, it, it's an action? Look oh, at no. the last okay. piece. Option. All right. Yeah. Two, a bonus action. two cubes. One, oh. two. Nice. One, Thank two. God. Okay, nice. Jesse. Nice. Unfortunate. Right. You were right, Jesse. He, it is, it is Skeletor. That was, a, that, was a, that was a very Skeletor line. That's unfortunate. <laughs> That's unfortunate. What you? Well, the, the funniest part is the like turn to camera. What you failed to realize. <laughs> I was, I was hoping no one would notice he that. He was monologuing. Okay, yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah. Well, it was. I remember, yes. I remembered, I had the teleport in my back pocket. So. I should be no, no one no. would notice the fact that you should probably move next to it. So yes, now, now I'm down to one health. Whatever shall do. I do? <laughs> okay, I believe we are going to go ahead and reset. Wow. Oh. You sly dog, you caught me monologuing. <laughs> All right. All right, Michael. I need uh I need this I need this chapter three commercial break. All right. Oh man, we Wait, gotta talk why is that? Team. Who took all the cards to their side of the table? Oh, you already had them laid out? No, but I can't reach. I have to go over there and get them. Why'd you move them all over there? I'm not go over there. Oh, those are Alex. my cards. That, that, that's my cards. So where are they? Listen, right down here. here. Should I put them next to your table? Oh, She's mad with power. She's going to determine the controller activation this round. <laughs> yes. All right. I'm waiting for Alex to go. Is there a Previously commercial break? on Masters of the Universe. The Must climactic fight between Beastman and Ramman continues. <laughs> meanwhile, <laughs> men at arms and meanwhile, after an unfortunate ambush by hover robots, men at arms and uh he man have recovered. Skeletor in a dastardly oh, sorry. Skeletor in a climactic fight between the mages fights Orko. Does he control the relic? Is it somewhere else? Find out on this episode of Masters of the Universe, Clash for Eternia. <laughs> That almost sounded like a DBZ <laughs> at the end, too. Yeah. Oh, we have like 20 more episodes for this five minute fight, then. This is going to be a DBZ. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh, Ooh, cards are going down. All right. Wait, wait for the controller. Now, let's see what we'll we get here. Hmm. Oh, that would be with the controller. Shira, I'm going to make a prediction on Alex. So yeah. as he's placing down, I think his first move is going to be controller so that he can activate command two times to get Skeletor right next to you. And then for his turn, he's going to just full on attack you. So it'll mm -hmm. be controller and Skeletor in that order, I think. I changed my cards? Nope. Mm -hmm. That's why I waited right. until you placed them. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then do... Mm -hmm. So we need someone to... No, there's no way. Oh, can we defend Shira somehow? If I can get within four squares, one, two, three, one, two, three, I can give her bonus armor. Yeah, that might be the only thing we can do to try and save her and save with our technology. game. Technology. <laughs> <laughs> and then you come mm -hmm. in with the, the cat and just, you know. All right, so then I probably have to do this. If anyone disagrees with any placement, feel free to rearrange. Let's I mean, you have, have points left. 
Uh, does does the endless hat heal Orko? All allies within four spaces. Does, does... Yes, you're you're yeah, always within the range can... of your own effects. Yep, okay. I can heal myself. Hmm. Oh, interesting. So, okay, okay, yeah, I I agree with. It's risky though. Just letting you know. That's how you. I'm basing it on how you predicted it. If you want to retract your prediction. No, no, no. So, so what I was trying to say was that we needed to keep you alive. Right. So, yeah. So that's what I meant. So, like, probably. Want yeah. To I mean, something. No ah, really should I just be explicit about it? It's too late for Alex, right? Yeah. Yeah. He sure can't change it. Yeah. Uh, so, so where I, do you want everyone to go? No, no, no. I think what you're saying is super solid. I'm just scared that, like, like if we get bad rolls, then we're done. Right. When but I, get I think you're rolls. right. Fear is <laughs> so if I can get within four, I can just use my two to give you armor. Yeah, but Shira, I think what Shira's strategy is super solid, too. Because she's just not even oh, going gotcha. to allow that to happen. Gotcha. Yeah, I see what she's doing. So I mean, I could put him over here that's what i or, was or no actually i would at least push and him then up. put me there no i i agree with your strategy shira it's just risky but why are I'm, you I'm questioning about the strategy oh wait you know you what actually i think shira's strategy makes sense because he's at three health and she ignores exactly yeah jen jen I i'm just, not disagreeing to... with her strategy i know well, why are you saying I agree with it, but we should probably second guess it throughout because like Because it's risky, Jesse. <laughs> I say we go with the winds of magic on this one, I think. Uh... I mean, I was kind of hoping that he could help take this could help take out someone. So I think uh Is that even possible? One, two, three, four. I could get uh so one, two, three. Which one? This one here? I yeah, was hoping so, someone so, could eliminate this person. Well, yeah, technically I, it could. One, two, three, There's two four. people right in this little alcove. Just let me know when I can go. I think I think this is a good spot here for that one specifically. All right. If, yeah. if, that, All right. if, if going by what you're what you're saying, yeah. Okay. Can I can, <gasps> I, can I go? Can I? Oh, did you did you do the thing? Can Alex? I can I go? Yes, yes. Uh, okay, uh, great. Uh, the suspense uh, is killing me. And Skeletor's going. Interesting. Now, we're gonna go yeah. ahead and go one, two, three. Okay, Ooh. up to the rocks. Yeah. Uh, from okay. there, I'm gonna go ahead and roll six dice against uh, what's his name over there? A little Orko. Uh, oh Orko. no. Orko? We're gonna be doing life siphon. Okay, we're not going to be doing attack boost because I don't think I'm gonna kill you even with six dice. So we're gonna roll two. We're gonna be giving up two of those energy cubes. Um, that correct me wrong. I don't get that extra energy when I was at max five, right? Sorry, I, correct. You're right. You're you're maxed out. Yes, and the cool. extra energy is lost. Yep. So I'm spending, and now I'm gonna get six dice rolling against Orko. I'm gonna be rolling over here now that the other side of the board is seeing a bit more action, uh, and it's with life siphon, so I'll be able to heal as a result of it. I'm gonna go ahead and one. Whoa! Two. Oh, oh my oh. god! That's the, one of the best what? possible rolls you could have had. You killed her, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. You know what the irony is. Had I played for attack boost. Wow. Okay. Oh, well. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. Oh wow. my gosh. Well, that was okay. Orko cool. just like skeletor. <laughs> the, the I will get still, lightning oh, from I'm the top. Just. I'm still on the. Space. But you don't prevent interactions. Well, no, right. not. Yes, yeah, right, she correct. can because she's. Mm, is, yeah, she when no. she summons again, she will. When when she's alive oh, again. Right now, okay. she, right now, if another character hypothetically got there, it would not prevent interaction. Oh, Skeletor's so right. right? Skeletor's healing uh, till max, so he's back up to seven. All right. Is that the end of your turn? That is sadly the end of my turn. <laughs> when better than I thought. It was not the right surprise. play. Nice. Hey. Nice job. Good job. Well done, right. there. Awesome. Now I get a cube. Oh, my job is called was dying. I get two cubes, actually. So I'm like that, was, that was like a fade to black. You see this big explosion, lightning blast into the side, and then it fades in, and Orko's still standing there with a staff. <laughs> oh my god. Because correct me wrong. All you need to do is kill uh, kill the person carrying the thing, right? Question. Yes, um, yes that, the, that will be that will complete the last and the objective that you guys are tied for. Okay. Alex, I'll finish your escape you KO. almost said all no, that you no, can I, is kill skeleton. No, no, no. Can I can I please ask my question? On the endless hat, do, it says within four spaces, does that ignore terrain or yes. would I have to 
Yes, awesome. All right. So I'm going to put a cube here. That was amazing. And Michael, I have another a question. A cube here. Mm -hmm. So if Alex were to move his character on the controller phase next to the next to the objective. I wouldn't interact. No, you don't need to interact. What I had asked Michael originally is if you ended your turn next to the objective, you won. Yes, only if someone while else didn't while it's not being contested. Not okay. Yeah. No, no, sure, sure, sure. But that's so let's assume that it wasn't contested. If if Alex moved a figure of his on his controller turn would he had still been able to to take it if theoretically it was the one carrying the token yes he would win okay yeah okay i'm going to do this bonus action right here which okay. is roll three dice and gain the following based on the results so interesting do i want him to become dazed or do i want him to suffer wounds guys what would be dazed well if he's uh, Days. He does not get his. He armor. does not get a armor, and he moves minus one space anytime he moves. He could pay a QB to become undazed on his activation. On his activation, yes. Here, I think Days is really good and right I now. Why do I, I don't have QB here? I don't think it's possible for me to kill him right now. I think I need help killing him from other help mm -hmm, players. Mm -hmm. So let me daze him so he can't move, or he has to Moves spend less. it. Yeah. Well, even you, even using your controller to move him, even if you wanted to use your controller, you'd be oh. moving, moving minus one oh, every that's single time. Smart. Good point. So, all right, where's my three dice? So interesting. So, Michael. So, strictly speaking, the controller would it would limit the controller action, and since it's not my activation, I can't spend the thing to yet. Okay, and then right. I'm using one, QB. two, to change two QBs to change these. So you're dazed three times. Wait, well, yeah. days, is yes, days, once. days is yes or no. So it's either he is days or he isn't. So mm -hmm. multiples of those would be wasted. Fine. So then you're dazed <laughs> once and you have, and I'm healed. Can I heal above my maximum life no. force? Nope. How do we Seven. track days, Michael? Days is actually right. just going to flip the model or put it on its side. Mm. Okay. I don't know how to do that. Okay. F. F will flip it. There you go. When he's so dazed, then, can he, he fall dead. off the rock? Thematically, can you just fall <laughs> off the rock being dazed? No. Well. He slips you know, and funny falls. enough, in a, in a very early version of the game, we actually did have things like being able to throw off rocks and whatnot, but we removed it for the sake of it was basically while it was cool and thematic, it was adding too much to the game to be really worth what the effect was. Oh, but I would like it really now, right now, because it's just annoying that he's hanging out up there. Shira, I do have good news for you. You what? haven't even done your action yet. I know. I don't know what to do. Option. Probably attack, I think, right? I can't because he's on top of the rocks. I'd have to go on the rock, attack him, mm -hmm. and manage to get well, off you can, the rock. You can attack me on the rock. Yeah, there's nothing that's stopping I, you. I thought you said line no, of sight. Be between, if I was off the rock behind it, then you mm -hmm. wouldn't Yeah, only, oh. only walls are blocking the line of sight. You can definitely see him on top of there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. if I was over here, you would not be able to see me through the rocks. Gotcha. You can't see over the mountain. You can see it's the top of the mountain. All right, well, you're still looking for. Thank you for moving so close to me. Uh, or, or of course, like, I'm, I'm not done with you. I'm okay yet. with my move close to you. It was pretty impactful. I appreciate that. And we'll Nobody roll. makes me bleed For my own blood. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be two wounds, and I will go down by two. Uh, well, seven. Shira could re roll if she wanted to, Alex. Oh, let me know. Uh, I'm not re rolling. I'm changing two dices to. But if you spent um, any things, let me know because I like those cubes. I shifted them over to you. I shifted them over oh, so to these you. Are mine? I spent okay. two. Those two are yours. I'm changing two to change these two dice to the skeleton face. Can I do that? The well, it's two power to, spin, to change one face. Yeah, one. One? Mm-hmm. You can spend one power to reroll, or two to change the die to any face, but it's only a single No, die. with my with my magic, oh, two to change it to any. But when but I you, change it to the skull face, If you change it to the skull, you will get a power and a hit, yes. So then I will choose, I'll spend two to change one to a skull and then gain a power back. And then, so that's three hits to you. Okay. And then can I spend the uh, remaining two to change it again? No. I can't do it more than once? No, because at this point you'd be, uh, you'd be completing the action. Okay, fine. So Alex, so, I think you already went down two. I think it was only one, one 
beyond. I think it was yeah, only whoa, one whoa, yes, you yes. went down. I should be down from seven oh. to four. Yeah. All right, and then yeah. my second activation. I'm rolling again. Wait, you're no, you're already, no, 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 no. Your first activation what? was standing up. Yeah, you recovered. Oh, fine, fine, fine. Sadly, <laughs> it was so, so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been, been great. great if you hadn't killed me. Orgo has okay. a taste for blood that can't be quelled. Is it my turn? <laughs> Is it Evelyn or controller? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and Ooh, oh, unexpected. What? Oh, wait a second. I'm so confused, Alex. Are you, Jen? Are you? My job in life is to confuse you. We're gonna go one, two, three, and then one, two, three. Beast is one. holding it. You guys yeah. didn't know that the entire time. That okay. little beast is holding the um, thing. Then Beast is going to take a bonus action and spawn a shadow minion in an adjacent space. We're gonna pop this guy over here for one. Um, and then Beast could try to activate him. Beast is going to spend an act, uh, thingy to activate him. He's going to spend a bonus action to activate him, and he's going to go ahead and go one, two over there. <laughs> he's blocking the door. Well... <laughs> and he's going to smash you. Uh, he's going to smash, uh, what's his name? Uh, Man at called? Arms. Man, Man at Arms. <laughs> Let me know if you're rolling any dice. I am not committing extra dice. Actually, do I want to come extra dice? I do not want to come extra dice. How much are you attacking with, Alex? I'm attacking with three dice, and uh, the uh, gray skulls are two successes. Or oh, uh, pushes. Uh, pushes. And I've got to watch out for, I got seven. And he can do a potential of six max with that roll. Oh, you're totally fine. I'm just going to do yeah. I think I'll, uh, I'll, I'll let it come. Oh, okay. boy. Excellent. We're going to go ahead and roll. And we're going to do one damage to you. Not a big deal at all. <laughs> Great. It was never about the damage. It's about getting in the way. And that's my turn. It was about sending a message. <laughs> sending oh, a message, boy. exactly. Is okay. it... I'm trying to understand what Alex is doing. Jan, you'll never understand. Well, so here's the thing. That was totally not what I expected to happen by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah. So there's a shadow beast now in front of me. Um, Gosh. I'm gonna get Hi, two you powers. Fools. You can't understand my brilliance. The forces of good can never comprehend the maliciousness <laughs> of evil. So before I allocate this, um... I feel like Jesse wants to pay you to move in just so you can talk <laughs> games with him. <laughs> before I, I have a very, this... I have a very reasonable rate per hour. Great. Are we gonna I try? Don't. My rate's ridiculous. <laughs> Is there? A... Are we gonna try and starve him out in any way? He's got a lot of power. I'm trying to think, you know, do I try and go oh. guns blazing? These were his as well. Oh, sadly. thank you. Ooh, even better. I mean, I can do tactical reposition to get you out there, but that would feed him a lot. But would it be if I shoot him and then I get He-Man one, two, towards the doorway or towards uh, any entranceway? Michael, before I assign these dice, can I do... No, I could. I could do the same action again. It's only bonus actions I can't do. Okay, cool. Uh, correct, yes. Oh. Tactical reposition. Mm. I'm just worried. You know, he's gonna max out if I do this. Uh, and this is a big turn next turn. Who is this a turn? Like since he's so close to the deployment zone or the end zone, do I? W I wonder if it's time to starve him out, or is it already past that point with the amount of cubes he has? He's got a lot of stuff. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. You so, may as well just give me more cubes at this point. Not like I can do anything. More with them. power, unlimited power. All right. So I will start off by making a basic. Uh, attack right into the shadow beast. Uh, wait, 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 pause. Uh, how many dice are you rolling? I'm rolling four dice. You're rolling four dice. I think I will go ahead and spend two to prevent you from to basically get uh, what's it called an extra armor and you suffer a wound if you miss for each miss. So, so wait, um, uh, <laughs> Chase, he has two defense already on this guy. Yeah, I don't, I'm not, well, I'm now it's to... at three defense. Oh jeez! No, so you can't. Are you more. able? Are you able to pull yeah. back and attack once it's been declared? No, 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 no. Once nope. you, once I, right. I asked how many dice specifically. Oh. Yep. 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 Oh nope, man. No okay. So, uh, you I'm... can do an attack boost. No, you cannot. Yes, attack that boost happens be before the defense. Before him. I said how many dice are being rolled. So I, all the best I oh, could probably do is do a re-roll if things go bad. Come Lee. on, that's tricky. things will go bad. Let's see. I know. What so makes them evil? Again, your attack boosts are declared before anything okay. is rolled here. So, so I would is... take a wound, a single wound, and you did three hits, which I have three armor. So if I spent up an, uh, uh, you could do a defense boost if you wanted to gain a shield, I guess. 
right? Is it, is it worth um, a point? No, I could, no, could I use my uh, attack booster reroll any dice? So that's that's declared before you roll. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Well, I mean, I wonder if I just take the damage. But wait, 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 wait. No, you, no. Don't, you don't Chase, have the option. Did, did yeah, you yeah, yeah. understand that sequence? Uh, and we did we didn't even ask you if you wanted to activate any no, of your abilities. We, we That's specifically okay. asked him how at many this, dice he was rolling. At this point, yes, it, but you yeah. didn't ask him if he wanted any boosts. It's I, different. I That's hear. Okay. I at, at this point, I, I, I'm, I'm getting a, a pretty good grasp of how the uh, dice sequence goes. I think that was a fair, that was a, a skillful play, I think. I yeah. think it's fine. Okay. Um, so I will take the wound on that. Okay. Uh, down to five. Hmm. We got two more. I got an action left and a bonus action. So he's got that that extra armor isn't lasting the rest of the turn though. It's just for that attack. Um, I, I, that's a good question. I How believe I it's just for the attack. Guy. It's just for the attack. Yes. Yeah. But uh, I do have two more dice just before you attack again. Yeah. Okay. So I think I'm maybe I will actually boost to kill him, and then I can move you up so you're ready to to run. Is that something you'd be uh, amiable to, uh, Jan? Uh, in what you sense? want to be moved. Uh, uh, what is it at all helpful to move you to and heal? That would put yeah. you three away from Skeletor, or I one guess away so. From yeah, I, I think that would be good because it, you would we would put you would put me at a choke point. That let's say that for some reason Skeletor was not the holder. Right. Um, we would make the the pass for both Evelyn and Beast longer. Because I'm also now much more, I have a much stronger defense. Okay. So what I'll do then is, so I think the action that'll be is I will use an enhanced gear to roll plus two dice. And I'll make a, oops, that's not dice. And I'll make a shot at this uh, shadow beast again. Mm -hmm. Hoping that he doesn't have another card that makes my misses uh, do damage. So I'm declaring that boost. So how many dice are you rolling? I'm rolling six dice. I will not bother to defend against that. And I'm going to give you that cue. Okay. And roll that beautiful bean footage. There we you go. Gonna kill me. Pow, 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 okay. pow. And, and you get two back. Uh, and I get that cute little... You only paid one cue? Uh, mm -hmm. Yep, only one cue for the plus two. Okay, cool. And, and I know I had previously uh, talked about how the minions, you know, you absolutely do kill them and like they would blow up because they're... No! Everything. <laughs> I don't actually know how to justify uh, a laser rifle to a shadow beast. I guess you shot it in the oh, club no. that caused it, it to it's, bounce it's, the club off its own head and knock it out. So it's not, I guess, not theoretically murder. It's just a big concussion. That thing's unconscious over the side of that cave. Man at Arms yeah. can make, you know, if he can make a, a robotic sentient horse, okay. he can make a laser gun that can stun it animals. My turn. Uh, actually, sorry. One more thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you more power. I'm gonna give a tactile reposition. Excellent. Which will allow uh, He Man to move two squares. And so, where would you like to move to, sir? There we go. Cat okay. attack. All right, and now I'm done. <clears throat> okay. All right. Okay. Who's he got going next? Alex, uh, well, I, I hate that you played me. I thought I had it so well read. I'm going to load that power over there. I'm going to go controller. ahead and flip this. It's controller. I take two more power. Just, you know, tons and tons and tons of power. Okay. Uh, we're going to go there with that. And then with controller, we're going to go ahead and do the following. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go, who's activating last? This guy over here. I'm going to go, okay. So we're going to start by paying two of these to go ahead and move. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go was. one, two, three. Then we're going to do it again to move. Same character. She's going to take one escape damage. Well, I knew it. One, two, three. Okay, she's taking an escape damage. That's fine. How many actions do you get as the controller? As many as I can afford. <laughs> um, then I'm going to go ahead he's, and draw. He's trading his resources for him. Um, then Jesse, I swear if ahead. it was Evelyn, I'm never going to let it go. I swear um, to you. I I'm feeling pretty confident Orko is just going to stand <laughs> over there and just blast everything. Then we're going to go ahead and spawn three minions. Okay, uh, two minions. Okay, one minion's going to go ahead and spawn over here. Oh, and one minion's going to good. go ahead and spawn over here. Um, mm. This minion is going to go ahead and activate, moving up here to just frustrate you with his being in the way uh, mm -hmm. for next turn in case it's relevant. Um, then I still Three have days. this I and exist. this. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and draw one card. Is there a hand lamp, by the way? No. Okay. 
Ooh, that's very cool. Have you okay. have you played any of the cards you you drawn so no, far? He no, no, I'm not. holding them. I'm holding them. I got. I, I, oh I got no. It. Okay. Um, and then I believe that's my turn. Interesting. Okay. I'm hmm. curious why you didn't attack me, Alex. But you did just say. Oh, turn. oh, yeah. It's I'm cool. That's you can. It's not relevant. I'm not trying to kill you. I'm trying to win. All right. I need you alive to tell others of my victories. Here it comes. So I have to take the shortest path to get there. One, two, three. Now, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, the only thing I could potentially do is uh, I would have actually gained two. Mm -hmm. um, you guys was, understand that I win, right? Is is pull pull beast towards me? That's pretty much the only thing I can do. Um, Beastman, mm -hmm. do we think that that's where? No, Why I are you so sure that Evelyn's going to be able to kill her on kill Orko on her turn, Alex? Evelyn has an ability where she attacks and moves people, mind controls people. Oh, jeez. Yeah. So I, I will stay called there. it I will from the there. beginning, and I will pass the turn. Alex, you you misplayed one thing. No, I didn't. Yeah, what you I did. did. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you misplayed one thing. You don't have any space for Evelyn to be adjacent to to the location and move Orko. How do you figure that? Because you placed a minion okay, on the cool. only James, space. Let's watch him do it. Okay, <laughs> cool. So oh, I'm going to go yes. ahead and I'm going to roll three dice. I'm going to boost it all the way to six dice by spending two of these cubes. Because no reason to hold back at all, even if the maximum is six. Uh, we're going to go ahead and attack. I have, I can shoot, I can track Wait, what? a short. Oh, it's what? Evelyn. Yeah. Mm. And then oh, I'm going to go ahead to and maximum, roll. Whoa, sorry, I flipped get, them. You can get yeah. to a maximum of five there. Maximum of five? How so? Because it's I can three dice here. I can only boost it once. Attack boost can only be used once. Oh, one. Okay, okay, so attack. I'll take my cube back. Oh, okay, so you're not so, activating mind control. Okay. I'm still activating mind control. I'm just doing it, uh, what's called, with five dice instead of He's six. rolling five and six, six. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and roll them, and you are going to go ahead and go one, two, oh, three. Oh, because it's three spaces. And then Got she's it. going okay. to go ahead and go one, two, three, and we will flip Oh my god, that's tokens I too! Called it from the beginning and none of you listened to me! <laughs> it was Evelyn all of I called it! I told you! <laughs> and that well was played. Evelyn, man. That was I awesome. Told all of you I, it was Evelyn! Jesse, did you appreciate totally, my fake fake? I did oh like my it. Gosh. I did like it. I totally thought it was I thought it was skele uh, skeleton, no, I gotta be honest. That's why I told you guys. Well that's why played. I was asking the questions. If you move this amount of space, it's that, that, that. Like, I, you, I knew it was Evelyn. Oh, I knew it. It's a shame you couldn't do anything about it. Yes, like we could have. Oh, whatever. It's fine. You stayed in a room the entire game. <laughs> I didn't stay in that you, room. Didn't you only, never speak of that. That never happened. You only successfully hurt your friend. I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly. <laughs> we were we we're still building up our. It was like the good game, Alex. Intro. Good game. Thank you. Very this well was done. really well fun. I and and I I'm sure I had a better experience. It's the nature of uh, four versus one games. Oh. Usually, I would play this with three players, and I'd have two people controlling two characters each to be more involved. Um, I am really excited for all of you to have a chance of being the Overlord or just controlling more characters. This was a lot of fun. Yeah. So, uh, actually, on that note, uh, talking about different player accounts here, because that actually just changed some of the dynamics. I guess one more gameplay surprise to talk about. By the way, good game, everyone. That was a very fun little dynamic to see everything that happened. I was sitting here watching from the sidelines about some various tactics that could have happened. Oh, so, in this scenario, Michael, yes. I, we, do, we do need a commercial break ending. <laughs> okay, we can go ahead and do that. Let's see here how that's. In the season finale of Clash for Eternia, we saw the unfortunate forces. Oh, sorry. In the season finale of Clash for Eternia, the evil horde. Sorry, the evil horde. The evil warriors. I'd be very specific there, but yeah, the evil that's horde a... is. Yeah. <laughs> On the season finale of Clash for Eternia. We saw the nefarious Skeletor and his evil warriors concocting a dastardly plan to potentially outsmart the forces of the masters of the universe. Uh, in a cunning ploy, Skeletor, feigning control of the relic, distracted the mighty Orko while Evil Lin hit him with mind control, moving him away and securing their escape. The forces of the heroic warriors have failed today. How uh, the forces of the heroic warriors have failed. How will Eternia deal with this crushing loss? Oh, I get. You were talking about variable ways Very to well play. Done. Yep. 
So one of the other nice. cool aspects about this is talking about variable player accounts, since that's actually something did, that did come up. So let's say as the uh, the players, you don't want to control four characters. You don't always have to do that. It's actually there is a variable amount of uh, characters you can control based on your personal preference. So let's say that this was you had two, oh, two people playing, one person playing the hero warriors and one person play, or sorry one person as the player characters, one person as the controller. You can choose to play up to four player characters if you want. But note, I said up to. If you want to play a single player character, you can. So let's say I wanted to just play He-Man. What that going, is going to entail is that He-Man is instead going to... Um, sorry, let me backtrack for one second. The number of activations always maintains the same on the player character and the controller side. Uh, so that is independent of player count. So for example, if I'm playing a one versus one game of one player character versus the controller, the controller is going to always have their same setup of three characters and their strategy slash controller activation. Meanwhile, on the player character side, they're actually going to get four activations with their character of choice. So if I'm playing just He-Man, which is something I can do, this entire scenario could be played as the entire forces of the evil, uh, of the evil warriors versus the lone warrior of He-Man. He-Man is going to get four activations through the round, gaining the, the power that's listed on each one of those, being able to use his effects much more often and to a much higher degree um, than you know if I'm playing with four players. If I'm playing with two player characters, then I actually have two activations for each of them. So again, the, it's always going to be a standard four activations per side. So let's say you want to do that buddy cop drama where it was He-Man and Master at Arms. Uh, combining. They're going to have two activations each. They're going to strategically decide, do you want you know, He-Man to have a double activation two in a row? Do you want to split them up? How is that going to function? You know, That's the strategy for you guys to decide. Now with three characters, things get a little bit different in the fact that you will have a special activation known as uh, basically your, the player strategy activation. It's always going to go in the last slot of the activation uh, track, but it's going to effectively act as a wild card activation. So during the round, you're going to have your standard three characters that you'd have, and you'll put them out just as you normally would, except that last activation that's going to be that three power one is going to act as a wild one. So whenever it hits that point in the round, you can choose any character to basically get that second activation based on what is strategically needed at the time. But that's adding that extra little element here to say that, you know, if you don't feel comfortable playing four characters, or say you just want to play one character and feel like you're that one-man army versus the entire uh, forces of the controller, you can do that. So there's tons of different variables and ways to play here. Nice. Very cool. Very nice. It's really cool. I, yeah. I like what you're doing. I like it yeah. a lot. If any of you want to see some of my cards, by the way, uh, just in terms of things, like I was holding on to a few steeled in case you ever attacked Evil Lynn, which would basically allow it to boost your defense and then move up to three spaces right after the attack. I was prepping for that. The others were all situationally useful. Very, very cool cards. Just they weren't and didn't end up being necessary for when I needed them. Oh, that's interesting. I like hmm. the heal one. Yeah. There's a few what do you heals, think, Chase? What do you think, Jess? I, it's inter interesting. I, I like it. Sadly, you know, uh, Ram Man, you know, blew out all his energy early and just got stuck. You know? <laughs> that was just, pivotal, though, right? That was like securing those objectives yeah. early yeah. on. It forced and, me to a different pathway. My original pathway was going to be, well, I mean, I thought I had those three locked in. It seemed like I was going to get them. And the two that you all combined, you all had the team working, you stopped me from getting him. Sadly, it did result in you being a little out of position. Yeah, I think I think it just like that he got he was stuck all the way down there. Like there with his abilities, he wasn't able to to pull what he needed. You know, the, the, the taunt ability to be able to pull characters away. You know, I think that was that was a good a good ability to have. Like I said, just the positioning of where he was at on the map. It just was it was terrible. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Some things that I've seen happen with this scenario is like when playing Ram Man. He could be pivotal with his taunt ability because he starts pulling yeah. the enemies back yeah. away. Um, He-Man with his mighty leap can actually start clearing areas. So like, you notice he got stuck in the ruins there. One of the alternatives for his level two ability that he had, instead of throw, which can actually take down multiple minions, he has mighty leap, which allows him to just bypass those guys. Well, combine that with something like a battle cat where he can actually just leap into the middle of enemies and claw slash as an AOE around him. That's another use of that. Uh, gotcha. Or go with his teleport, of course. So. Again, all these skills, you've got multiple different build paths and abilities you can do with each of your characters, and it's going to depend on the scenario, uh, which one is useful. Because some scenarios are going to be leaning more toward combat, some lead more toward mobility and getting across the battlefield. This one I played because I felt it was a good mix of the two, so you guys could showcase mm. that off. Nice. Man. Chase. I'm 
really excited. So first <laughs> off, like, oh my gosh, theme wise, like all the abilities, um, you know, there's some really meaningful choices and then they feel like super thematic. So you, you've got the actual like characters have that identity. Uh, like Ram Man was tough, like Ram Man, Key Man had all the so mastered arms. There was like kind of a more like uh, shooty build, but he had that like super support Orko with the wand at the end. That's fantastic. Uh, so like, and then even the core set, like if I wanted to play this with someone who didn't play the game, doesn't know He-Man at all, like, especially on the Heroic Warrior side, you, you can kind of tell what the characters look like enough. Like the magic guy, oh, we know what he's going to do. Like, and so it's, you know, it's pretty clear how to play them if you don't know the IP, but if you do know the IP, you, you hit it like right on the head. And uh, I think it's just so cool, the controller and that I can play this with like my buddies and, and play like a competitive game. But if like my nephews are over, I could be the controller and play maybe slightly down a bit and they could still get the same like awesome experience while I'm being like the the evil overlord. And I don't know, this I, I think this is a great like marriage of the the rules and the and the, the, the setting here. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, as somebody who never watched a single episode of Master of the Universe, uh, I, this was a ton of fun. Like it really, yeah. it was I really... feel I feel like I'm more familiar with the characters too. I'm looking forward to the new Netflix TV show, put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> True. Shira. I want more characters and more powers and abilities. Oh, well, it's um, a Simon title. They're only ever going to do the eight that we have here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'd like there to be, to be in the middle of like one of your activations, earn another QB so that you can kind of prep a little bit. I don't know if that's. I think you'll have work. a lot of fun as the Overlord. It's very much your thing. I would, I would really like to play Overlord. I wanted to play it. It's a little jealous. We're, we're so going to have a physical just, prototype um, in, so you'll probably get a chance to do that. And, and just just overhearing like your kind of play style um, from this game, I actually feel that Tila would probably be a fantastic fit for you because her whole thing is that she can actually kind of is like a little bit of a mirror to Beastman. She can summon Eternian Royal Guards, but also has a bunch Ooh. of other effects to make her allies around her get bonus attacks and also start feeding them power as well. I'd like so that. she is, you can build her as like just a melee, like, you know, I'm just going to get into the thick of things and start beating people up. Or as a kind of a support character where you're kind of like a, a minion caster, where it's like, I'm going to summon my royal guard. I'm going to buff them and my allies to go and get them to do my dirty work for me. I did like Orko, though. I did like, he, I don't know, is it a he? Orko she? just has, it's it's an Orko. Yeah. <laughs> Orko, Orko, Orko is very cute and I like the thematic elements of like all the different character abilities how they tied in with each other and they all seem to suit it yeah this was this yeah. was a blast Michael thank you so much for taking the fun. time uh we're you. gonna have a pile of content I know Chase you're you're doing some some coverage yeah. of this type of stuff over on your channel uh Jazz if you're free to like drive down and, and hit this on the table with us always yeah. welcome yeah let me know uh, and Alex, after we get some physical gameplays done, uh, I'm sure Coming we'll down. end up. I am sure we will end up doing like a full review or a full coverage over on a uh, board game coast. So, uh, if you're still watching at this point, thank you so much. I'm gonna toss to myself, signing out and saying goodbye, and uh, you know, keep dreaming about Michael's recaps. I'm, I'm gonna call <laughs> him up every now and then just for a life update. We'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. If you made it to this part, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, and of course. Let us know what other characters from the Masters of the Universe saga you'd like to see brought to the table.